Welcome to Side B, motherfuckers. Welcome to Side B, motherfuckers. Hey, one goal, one thing, one move, man, that shit don't change. It's certain real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do. Hey, there's only one goal, one thing, one move, man, that shit don't change. It is certain real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do real fucking things. All right. I'ma keep a general just like the army Most real niggas know, most niggas phony Your shadow got your back, huh? Just like your homie That's why shady niggas will harm thee This act Caesar Brutus got him and caught him before his last breather If that don't make you believe us, then you'll learn Honesty is a quality that will burn But it's cool, and trust is a quality you will earn You a fool if you take, you learn all of the rules Imitate and imitation and they call it they cool. I know a little bit, but go ahead and call me a fool. While you sprinkle sugar on shit and you calling it food. See, I'm just trying to groove and you standing on the wall with your hands on your balls, making crab claws move. Trying to bonk at a dog, but I don't bonk. I just fall back till you think you winning, but you lost in the beginning. They'll be like, I'm not even gonna get mad at you. I'm not even gonna hound you for child support. If you don't want to be in a child's life, that's on you. And I'm saying I won't. I'm just saying I, I like I like women like that. I'd be like, you know what? I don't need you to be in a child's life. I want you to, but if you don't if you don't want to, I'm not about to force you to. I just need a woman with subject verb agreement skills. <laughs> like that is my fucking thing. The brains, man. The fucking mentals. I'm a crazy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like I need that I need that opposite balance. You know. You need to be totally that. just chill. Buddhist monk, huh? Yeah. Fucking. Hmm. Oh, man. I but, mean, you know, the Bible always talk about how you got to be equally yoked. Don't come with that fucking shit. <laughs> no, no. You're basically saying the same thing. I'm saying this on that level. This, 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 Maybe this. I should be a Christian. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm not even saying be a Christian. No, 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 no. You'll be a pastor, pastor Devin. No, no, no. All I'm saying is, <laughs> all I'm saying is like, one, like, a lot of that I didn't fuck with because they use that to be like... um. To if do you, bullshit. No, it's like if you don't believe, if that person doesn't believe as much as you and God uh, doesn't, if y'all not, you know, at, on the same level spiritually and when it comes to God and stuff, then y'all shouldn't be together. Yeah, yeah that, well, and I feel like, or you can't be together. You're not, yeah, you shouldn't be. You can't. Yeah, you, like, don't be with somebody that's not as God fearing as you, et cetera. And I used to be thinking that's fucked up. But the flip on that, because a lot of times when it comes to the Bible, bro, you know, a lot of times it's about the interpretation yeah. of the, the, the leader of that church or whatever. Right. Sometimes, some I've heard some pastors run some shit, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I've heard some pastors flip some shit, and I'm like, you know what, nigga? I'll listen to you on a regular basis, you know yeah. what I mean? So it, it depends, though. So just hearing what you just said made me think of that on a different tip of, like, I need a chick that's like on, on my level, like mentally, emotionally. You know what I mean? Like that. That's how I'ma take the equally yoke shit. Like you know yeah. what I mean? You you don't want to be able to talk about some Socrates and she looking at you like nah, yeah, like uh, what the fuck you mean? You no, know what I mean? Girls and, like that, that I always felt like I was the entertainment. Like, like I was like, but girls like that where I felt like um they weren't on the same level mentally with me. I felt I always wanted feeling like I'm the entertainment. Like I'm always there putting on a show for them because they're like they don't, they ain't got nothing to like, offer. They ain't got no conversation. They ain't got nothing new I can learn from too much. And that's the other side too. Um. And I mean, I mean, also mental capacity because it's one thing if the bitch don't know Socrates, but she open to it, she might know Aristotle. Yes. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, right, you know right. What I mean? Yes. Like, it's I just acceptable. You know what acceptable. I mean? I ain't saying you gotta yeah. know everything. I don't know everything. I love right. when a woman put me on something or like, it, like yeah, you that, something. That's, that's the thing. Teach me. Let me learn something. Yeah. But you gotta be open to learn some things, and I get that's what you talking about. Some people, male and female, aren't open. Just not open to, to learn learning. nothing. Or they are like a certain level of conversation. They're just not mentally. Therefore. Complete. And, then, then, and, and it's not their fault. They got different people that's on different levels, but you got to be with the person that's on your level of thought at the very least if y'all going to have anything long term. I think also that's... Uh, Even if you're opposite. That's like something that really speaks on the mentality of society, period. Like most people don't like to learn new facts and information. Like we are very much like stuck in our ways. In like lots of fucking ways, like Look people just present. aren't aren't open to like change. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just a uh, because change brings on things. something new, which is scary to some people. I think that's scary to everybody. No, I don't think anybody, even people that grow and change, instantly decided to grow or change. 
It just depends on the fortitude of, depends, of the yeah. character that you have on whether you will be open to, you know, even though at first that wasn't something that made me feel comfortable or something I wanted to jump on, let me at least be open to, you know, peeping it out, thinking about yeah. it versus... Check out like, all the angles. Let me check out the angles versus it's gone, it's shunned, never. Yeah. <laughs> Complete never. Right, you know right, I mean? right. Running away. Because I understand. I, I definitely yeah, agree with you, Bash. Like, I, I definitely could work with a girl who's at least got an open mind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, yeah. with, with, or the open mind lets me know that I can, not only can I learn something from you because you got an open mind to learn shit, but I also could, like, we can talk because, like, you can hear me out and get a good understanding for it. We can talk. That's can, the main we thing. We can work we it can out together. Talk. Right. Because, like, it's so hilarious that we all addicted to these phones, but none of us can communicate. Hmm. For real. Sounds like a meme. I'm not. Sound like a meme. But it's big facts. It's true. I ain't read it no way. Well. That's a trip. Like, yeah, it is a trip, man. That, that, that's why, like, when I'm around people and social interactions, I try to get off my get off my phone less. But it's so hard not to because niggas can cut off conversation with me when they get out there on the, get on their phones. So I'm just sitting there like, all right, I don't want to get on my phone. I want to talk to you, but you obviously want to be in your phone. So what should I do? Should I get in my phone then? I'm not even talking about getting in your phone. I'm just talking about just in general, dog. Yeah. Communication as a generation has regressed. It wasn't yes. necessarily even the best in our parents' Yeah, like it wasn't the best, but, you know it's, what I'm but it's definitely gone, gone down. But it's like levels. actual communication of... Not, actual, actual human uh, interaction, in my opinion. I'm not just talking about that. That's not that's not a untrue thing that you're saying, but I'm just saying just... So many times we don't, like how they say, we don't talk to understand, we don't talk to listen, we just talk to speak the next thing. And I'm yeah. just saying, like, when it comes to these, like, you like, would think that with like us, acting. you would think, with, like, you know how we have these phones and we have this this communication device that texts us and you can call. device for communicating. You can do the supreme device for communicating. If, yeah. you, if you sat down a couple right now, a lot of them don't even understand each other. You know what I'm saying? They do not really communicate with each other. They do not really know each other. They do not really talk to each other. So I'm, not, I'm talking about like beyond human interaction. I'm just saying on the level of, I said this sentence to you. You said the sentence back. I took it in and really took it in and understood what it means mm -hmm. that what you're saying. And you took, people don't do that a lot. No, no. And, that's, and, that, and it seems like it was a fluctuating thing because to a degree, more people are trying to be open, but we're condi our conditioning right now is to not be. It's, it's, a, it's weird. It's weird. It is weird, and I think uh, it's interesting too. Not like, not not like you know fully, but I think maybe one other piece of that is just the, uh, just the fact that we're like losing the concept of nuance. You know what I'm saying? Like Look people I'm, are oh God. people are very flat now. Like it either is or it isn't, and it's like that's that's true on some levels, but there's like a lot of nuance in most of what we fucking. Right. Trying to fucking a lot of area agree. figure out, yeah. But I mean, people don't really uh, don't really pay mind to it. Like it's either one thing or the fucking other, and that's kind of toxic too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do we have the supreme being of communication with these devices? It's also to me has been a huge part of the downfall because um, you know why would I want to interact with someone in person or like I don't really need to win. I have this following I can interact with online. I have this whole other persona and this whole other life online. That really is it's really fictional which, kind of. I'm about to say which really isn't even another life. Wait, wait, wait. One thing I want to say to your nuance thing. Um, it, it, it like it is trippy that people we we don't even try to check check with nuance and context and yeah. go back to what he was saying or what Joe was saying earlier about fear. And it's like there's this fear of being wrong, fear of being mm -hmm. a bad guy, defensiveness of being wrong, defensiveness of being a bad guy. So when you instead, so people just feel attacked instead of taking in like, yes. you know what I mean? What if I were wrong? It's yeah. not the end of the world if yeah. I were wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, but, taking your lick has been always a problem for a lot of people. Well, I mean, just the generation sucks. So Nobody we, wants to feel wrong. No one wants to Nobody feel, wants to feel stupid mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or they're dumb, like they don't know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, most of the time, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. A lot about. of time, but people you know don't saying? want to take it. No one want to say they, like, they were taught wrong or their mama yeah. was wrong or their grandma might have been wrong or whatever, however it came up. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. You know what I mean? As if you think of racism, you think of homophobia, you think of trans, you think of, if you think of every type of like issue, a lot of it comes down to once points on both sides a lot of times don't want to give ground mm -hmm. and the absolute wrong motherfuckers never want to take their lick. You know what I mean? Because to me, the talks of racism isn't one side, isn't a two sided thing. No, you're wrong. It's wrong to be racist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But there's other issues where they might be two sides, but neither side will ever budge because the nuance gets lost because they don't want to lose their footing or lose their ego or like the fear of being yes. 
the bad guy right. or being the wrong one or losing. Right. Being at fault. At Bruh, fault. And white people, you know, as a, a whole, admit that like you know we benefit from from privilege. It's to ex- it's like to take a burden on themselves that I don't know if they're willing to take. That and that's what I said this before. That is said of every privileged group. If yep, niggas did part. that for women, if straight people did that for gays, it's like every privileged group, the, when you look at the worst part of the privileged group, it's always some level of they have no nuance or context and they're really not hearing what the other people are saying mm-hmm. and they just so afraid to lose whatever or be at fault at whatever. And like you just said, it's like, nigga, just take your lick and we would all be better. It's not going to be the end but, of the world. But right. you, to take your lick is to say, I was wrong. And like you said, it's to feel like, you know, like the bad guy. I know you're the bad guy, but the fact is that the whole time throughout life, you know you was doing this bad shit. Maybe but now, now you really got to face it like, all right, you, let's say you did, did. Not, yeah. you did your whole life. Yeah. But at some point in human nature, I feel like some of the things you know you did was wrong, like by human nature feelings. I think we all have basic human nature feelings that let us know when things are wrong or don't feel right. And just because, like, it's okay by society, when, when white folks are doing that racist shit, part of me in their heart, though they were smiling and laughing, a deep down part knows what the fuck they were doing was evil and wrong. But then you add to this the burden, the burden of not only realizing that you're wrong, but then having to change. Having to change. And that's, that's the part. Yeah, I was going to also say, that's like, the part. just very uh, much next to that, when you're basically, when you say that you're wrong about something, you also have to basically relinquish some uh, power also. Yep. Yes. You know yep. what I'm saying? And, every, and nobody wants to feel weak mm-hmm. about anything. And when you feel like you're right about something, yeah. subconsciously you also feel like you have power over this other fucking person's, you know, Mental process about the fucking shit. You or know just, or just, just the ego of being right. Feel like, like you have some higher right, ground. Yeah, like you feel like you're fucking more valuable. What's the fucking word I want? You just feel like you're superior. Superior, yeah. And like you know, we because I'm right and you're wrong. We want to feel superior to people. Everybody does. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Like yeah, that is some sub- subconscious shit. Like when people are wrong, be superior. So when people are wrong, sometimes so the, the people that are right sometimes often judge them with their intelligence as being like like less smarter than they are. Yeah. Because they're wrong is like and it's like, I know I'm right and I know you're wrong because I'm smarter than you. Mm-hmm. And now I'm gonna show you how you're wrong and now you're gonna see how I'm right. And it's but that that's one fact of it, but I think the deeper meaning is like when you kept it more general of just generally speaking cause superiority is not even always intelligence. True. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the level of thinking that you're better and no better. One, that yeah, you know that, that yeah, you think you're better. That can come from intelligence. That can come from athleticism. That mm-hmm. can come. From, that come from so many dynamics. Yes. But no one wants to relinquish that, and no one wants to feel the, under the burden of that. Mm-hmm. But when you got to take your lick, and then we all gonna come to equal comp, equal place, and we all gonna grow. At some point, it goes both ways. You got to give something. Mm-hmm. You hear me? You got to give something to get. Period. Yeah. And a lot of these motherfuckers, when they really in that top spot, they don't want to, they, they, they like the status quo. They are holy ground. They like the status quo. And the, the fear of, now you have to have a conscience because you know better, and then you know you're supposed to do better, but you don't want to do better because it, 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 it profits you more in your mind to, no, no, keep things the way it is. Man, you damaging everybody else, dog. There's some selfish shit going on, dog. Yeah. But, to uh, pick, but to flip back to what you were talking about with uh, the world of, um, the fictional world, I was listening to this podcast once that made me think about this in a different way, and is it so fictional? It's like that episode of Black Mirror where like everybody was well, that's like, my show. <laughs> everybody was li- they was living in a freaking um, virtual world when they were on the bikes. It was the chicks. They had this lesbian relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember bikes, I mean, but they might have bikes. I mean, in some... were they watching those 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 uh, screens? Nah, man. Maybe I'm thinking about a different episode. I mean, that is my fucking episodes. show, though. It's, it's, it's in episode. some ways, dog, there's some truths in it. But in some ways, it is fictional. Because in re- in real life, if you were to ever meet most of these people, you know, the way y'all talk and how y'all interact won't be like it is online. But that's the same in person. People talk fake in your face yeah, every day. Yeah, absolutely. See what I'm saying? It's, it's a funny thing when you, like... It's, it's really about where you put your power or where you put... Where, where the focus go because... Those worlds, people killing themselves online because of shit online. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And even in person, like, you know what I mean? People can be absolutely whoever they want to present themselves to you in your face 
all the time. All that's the true. Time. And and it, it's very similar. I, I know what you're saying on level of that's the but, virtual world, but but, the but like virtual I world. Because even though someone lying in your face, it's something about that human interaction that that that, yeah. that, 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 that makes something way different than being virtual. Because being virtual is almost to be numb, to have no real feelings about it, because there's no real attachment. If I sit and chill with you for a whole year, an attachment. But no, if I sit and chill with you a whole year. And let's say I was a cop and I was a, a detective and I, I had to lie to you. I'm, that's my job to lie to you for a whole year. But I sit and I chill with you every day for a whole year. That human interaction is going to have some kind of feeling for you. Whether that if I was online talking to you for a whole year, that feeling won't be as deep. If we was if we kept Skype open for an entire year, you would still make so a now, connection. Might not be the exact same to the degree. I understand what you're coming from, dog. But I've been in a long distance relationship where we'll just have Skype on. And we yeah, just but that's a long distance relationship from a relationship that you already had connected with but, humanly. But... I'm not. I'm not the one that can speak for this, but there's people who have never met each other that fall in love online that have these relationships. That's online. a small number. But it's a number. Yeah, but like, dog, it's just a like, small just, number. So like, like it doesn't it's really. It's a number. It really, it's, it's, it's a number, but it's like it's like you know it's it's one of those things like there's a there's a possibility for everything kind of thing. So you're like, there'll always be a number. I'm not gonna say it's a saying? possibility but it, but it's for every. It's a small every, ratio. I'm not gonna say you can't. The thing is, you don't know what the measurable amount is to this ratio. The point is, you're trying to make with your example, which can all, which you also don't have any variable on. You feel me? Is that it's guaranteed that this is gonna happen every time? But then there's always other variables. I'm saying connection can be made if we skyping. If we skyping all day, every day, we keeping each other, each other alive. We talking, boom, 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 through this virtual world. Even if we never met in person, son, it's possible for connection to be made. It's the same type no, of thing. No, I, ain't, I never said a connection isn't real. I'm saying that you have a connection with something that isn't real. Like your connection that you feel, you what you feel is real. What you're online, but it's not real. You it's can't say the relationship two people make online isn't real, though, is what I'm saying. You can't say that. Because once you once you meet and actually humanly be together, then it's actually real. You and know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm saying... My what, daughter can Skype me all I want, but when I touch her and hold her, that's when I'm the most real. I'm that's saying, when the feelings are the most real. I'm not saying you're saying anything wrong except from the fact of so, people online have I, connections that they make that they feel is real as fuck. That's what the movie Her was about. This nigga was in love with a fucking phone. You heard me? Like, he ain't never get to touch this motherfucker. But he was but, in love with a fantasy of a human being that wasn't even there. Like, like he was, a, it was, like, it was like his own special... But he it was real. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dog, you can't take that from I can't, a person. I, I said that. I said that. And that's I, all I'm saying. I, 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 I didn't say that what they feel wasn't real. I'm saying the thing that they are feeling isn't real. How, see, what's that mean? Explain like, how that's even different. Like, the, like we're going back to the movie with her. His feelings for the machine was real. Like, he loved that machine. He loved her, the thought of whatever her was. He loved that. But her herself wasn't real. How? Because she was a virtual uh, artificial intelligence. But they, they, they were also, in that movie, in that fiction, challenging how which artificial intelligence, how can that shit grow? Like but let's flip it to like but let's flip it to what I was specifically and saying. Give them names no, 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 no. My, my original thing was two people talking on Skype. How is that thing not real? I said it's, I didn't say it's not real. I'm just I said that. All right, I said like the the connection they have online that may be real, but like the, like the true human nature of them fully connecting, like really connecting and binding, isn't real because it hasn't happened like in a physical form. And that can be challenged. That can be challenged. A lot of things can be challenged. But no, what I'm saying, saying is that has direct. A, but a, but the thing of the thing of physical form. Like let's say let's say we have a relationship online for Skype for a year, mm -hmm. and we're in love with each other, mm -hmm. and then we finally meet up, and we start dating, and we start living with each other. Yeah, and things are start to change because you see how I live. Things start to change because you see how I deal with my family more than how I deal with you online. Things you, may change. No, things will change. No, may because you're for the most part. Uh, you're trying to leave this as if y'all gonna break up. There's many couples. No, it's not. That, a, no, some couples. Some couples. Not many. Some couples do survive out of this. You said not many. How do you know that? You're making rough estimates, guesses off of what you or for your position, dog. But what I'm saying is, there's a lot of there's a lot more to it than what you're giving credit to, son. And you can't just automatically believe that we if we met long distance and we get in each other's face that means we're gonna that's more people gonna break up than won't you don't know that and you know that they will stay together i didn't say that at all i say they exist and that the connection can be real that's all i keep saying that you're fighting to say that they're going to break up and the connection can't be I, real, I, I'm, not saying, real. I'm not saying they're going to break up i'm saying you said most do I think I it's, say a, most are gonna I think it's a it's a fucking spectrum, son, because I see what you saying, dog, because we have a friend that basically did that. You know what I'm saying? But they also got like real context that you can't get just from seeing a person 
on the fucking screen. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's the shit that you really have to deal with when you, like, be with a person. Not just being on the screen. I can, like, walk up and, like, go I understand the entirety you know of that. Yeah, you like, feel the, me? like, the whole thing. I understand the entirety of it. All thing I keep saying is, on as soon as he says that, sides. um... When you get in person, it's real, and as long as they have a connection online, it's not real. I'm like, bro, these people feel like that shit real, and yeah. if they get in each other's face and they still work out, dog, I'm not gonna say nothing was not real. Like they got the yeah. connection, it was real. They yeah, got yeah, yeah. they got soldiers and military people that be without each other for years, mm -hmm. nigga, and it's all they got is the connection of that goddamn screen to keep but the more, connection going. But these people, not just, like these soldiers, have already made a human connection already. You don't know that they got couples but the most that part they have. you don't, don't know that, that though, I mean, son. You just speaking off of your assumptions, son. son. All right, let's go. Let's make a quick Google then. Let's Google this. Because these things are like, I feel like almost common sense, dog. Like, dog. Most people like that go away in the army, you just going to automatically as assume long that as they, they did not have a human relationship. I didn't say that, dog. You you're saying all, you no, jump into well, the you extreme. For you to say mine is, is, is on one side, what, what, what side you, are you, you on? Just, I, all I'm saying is some people exist and the connection are real. That's all I'm saying. And you're trying to say the majority of them that get together most likely going to break up. I never said that. You, when I, I you never said, implied that. Yes, you did. No, when, I did not. Yes, you did. When you okay. said some. When you said only some. Did you not say only some? Because I'm saying like this is, is a small majority of people that See? meet online, dog. Like, like that's not even a big number of people who humans interact and get together. And like, like the people that meet online that have these relationships, I'm saying that was a small number. That's some. That's some. It's not like there's many of people that are online having these connections and relationships. That's How do true. you know? What is your What is your definition of many? We got technically billions of people on freaking line. What do you call many? Okay, dog. Let's see. Let's Google this right now. Let's make a quick fact. We're fact, we're fact checking now. Yeah. That's about to take a whole freaking minute. By the way, welcome to the Flower Best Podcast. <laughs> right. This is your part. <laughs> yeah, I mean, welcome to the Flower Best Podcast. We're episode 457, side B. Hey. This is that actor guy, Martin Bass Bradford. You can find me on all your social media platforms, at Mr. Bats. Spell it Mr. Outer. You ain't gonna find me. And as usual, we in this motherfucker with my brothers. What up, what's good? Live from the Shadow Realm. This your boy, D-Mac. Check me out on Instagram at FrenchBread.Kid. And follow my apparel line at YourDig504, also on Instagram. And yeah, we in this thing. Passe and wine, it's your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the roof. And if you're out in the streets and you're looking for me, you can find me on Instagram at Alpha Joe 504 uh, Facebook, Joseph Alpha Man Pines. Side B, we in this bitch. As normal, uh, me and Bess uh, going at it again. <laughs> hey, we hands off as usual. Back yeah. in stride again. Just another fucking day at the office. Yeah, point being missed. But um yeah, dog, do we we about to spend more time on this or we about to get into this? I mean, we, I'm a, we could talk about this. My later, point is forward. regardless of the how people who make connections, I'm not gonna denigrate their connections, bro. That's all I keep saying over and over. If you made a connection online, that's your connection, man. You hear me? That's whatever and you I'm got. Saying, that's I'm saying until you meet humanly to a degree, it's somewhat fictional. And that's I feel like that's wrong to tell these people. And that's how you feel. And that's how you feel. And there we go. It is what it is, yeah. it is what it is, you dig. So, um, shouts out to, uh, what are we about to get into? Okay, so. Oh, shout out to the other podcasters. Uh, or, such uh, as the. No, let's get a scroll out. Such as the Your 30 podcast. Yes. Such as the We'll Figure This Out podcast. Yes. Such as, uh, Misbelief Radio Show podcast. Yes. Books to Bills podcast. Yes. Hip Hop Nerd podcast. Yes. Uh, Fuck What You Heard podcast. Yes. Still love that name. Um. No Dope on Sundays. That's Curtis as a uh, Curtis uh, DC younger brother. I don't, I don't even know this nigga, but no dope on Sundays podcast. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would, I would, I would, we can put him on the list. They deserve it. He just want to say no dope on Sundays. Yeah, I guess. Like that's the name of their podcast. You listen to their podcast? He gonna say yeah. You're yeah, damn right. I am. It's like I listen to yeah, everybody on this yeah, motherfucker yeah, podcast. Yeah. Yeah, it's fictional, y'all. Remember that. It's, moving <laughs> online. it's fictional. Hashtag fictional. Um, who else? Uh, on the League podcast, we railing right, them. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Black Therapy New Orleans. You said that? I ain't say them. The, yeah, the Brooklyn Ladies of Therapy New Orleans. The Therapy New Orleans podcast. Check. It's therapy spelled P I E instead of with a Y. But I do have to say, Not Brooklyn right. Ladies, but the. Uh, Noir. Oh yeah. no, they we just be calling them that shit. They their podcast is actually called Therapy Noir. You gotta find it. Yeah, that's Therapy Noir podcast. Um, uh, Metalhead of God podcast yep. and um, Black uh, Guys Next Door. Black Guys Next Door. What about is a Three the Hallway? I don't know if they even still pod. Them and True Literate. I don't even know if those two are still even happening. Oh, uh, Showgun Grill. 
Nigga, I ain't listening to that podcast. Oh, yeah, bro. So uh, that's all the podcasts we got for right now. You want to shout out your uh, acting podcast with your homie? I mean, that's on this station, man. Reviewing that part. Wait, what were acting? Oh, you oh, talking right. like talking like normal people? Uh, the one with, uh, with, uh, I mean, shout with, out to them. With, um, Glorioso. That's talking like normal yeah. people. That's yeah. not my podcast, but. No, like, so you yeah, want to shout them out? They, uh, you been on there? If you're in the acting podcast, if you're in the acting business, man, check out Talking Like Normal People uh, with Ryan Glorioso. A lot of times people ask me questions about acting. I'm like, man, that and the Actor CEO podcast, if you go to either one of those two, many of your questions about this game will be answered. Even though I am leaning on thinking about doing a, uh, another podcast on this station, specifically uh, about black actors' journeys, because. I noticed like most of the actor podcasts I listen to are about either the business in general or usually have a bunch of white people on there or white guests. Now, I don't know like a million famous black actors or anything, but uh, I don't know, dog. Even if it's just getting actors and just trying to get on the game, like every episode, a different freaking actor on there. We just running about their journey. We running about where they see the game at right now. We running about, we run about like their favorite actor inspiration and we might even fucking, you know, Review a movie by 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 somebody fuck with or something. I don't know, but I'm thinking about like adding like you know the AWB podcast, acting while black podcast. Okay. Acting while black. Yeah, AWB. I like, like it. All I'm right. Like, I make that station on here. And that's everybody. Uh huh. Is that everybody? Is that everybody? What you mean? On the phone, the scroll. Oh, it's everybody on the podcast, bro. Yeah, that's everybody. All Andrew right. Boom. That's a wrap on that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. So welcome to Side B. On Side B, we usually start off with that into fit of, of the day. day, which is where we get into you know a lot of a lot of heavier topics than we usually get to on Side A. Side A, you know, if you're listening, you know, we usually deal with like lighter fare, entertainment, nerd shit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But on uh, Side B, you know, at Fit, you know, we already kind of started at Fit at the top of this. You know, we like to get it, dig again, dig again. After that Fit today, we get into that Daily Dose America. Which is your friendly reminder of just where you live and just who the fuck you dealing with. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. You dig? Then it's that hero highlight where we take the time to shine light on someone who's doing good in the world of pure D fuckery. And then we get on out here to, you know, the next couple of couple of man, and, you couple know. Of couple of we be out, you dig? So without further ado, let's get into that two man. DJ. Pepper got his first gun, he ready to murder. He out of control, left his swole on bourbon. I don't even drink. If I see you, I ain't see you now. I don't even blink. Nah, I don't even think that I'm here. But if I see you and I like you, I'ma smile. Is this really who I am? Huh? Then versus now, life is too wild. This shit is out of hand. I'm just trying to live, but y'all don't give a damn. I'm just trying to be cool. I don't want to lose my Work, lose my mind, lose my spine, lose my shirt But if you know me, then you know I go berserk Then you know I go berserk Then you know I go berserk Hey, first, I'm just shutting First up on the Etouffee, man Rest in peace, Aretha Franklin So sucky, dog. Like, how do y'all, how do y'all feel about that? When it's your time, it's your time And it, and, uh, it was her time I, It's sad, because uh, you don't never want to see a great go But she lived such a long and fulfilled life that though physically she's not here, she will live on for the next hundreds of years. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, it's a sad thing to see her physically go, but you, you when you have that kind of foot carbon copy and footprint in the world, you're not really, you never really left. True. I, uh, when I first became a DJ, you know what I'm saying? I did a lot of old school music. You know what I'm saying? I used to DJ at the spot. On St. Bernard, it's closed, closed now, but it's basically a um, hole in the wall, you know, or whatever. And I used to have to play a lot of Aretha Franklin. Like, that was some of the first, you know, music that I ever had to, like, officially play, like, out in, like, public and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't listen to pretty much all of it. And, I don't know, dog. like, like Joe said, bro, like, her, her her footprint on music in in general is going to be long lasting so her impact on society but outside of that i'm looking down the list i guess i might be getting a little bit too ahead of it just the pettiness of aretha franklin was just like straight comedy for me too like i just watched it on youtube yeah i didn't get to that point yet because i yeah. wanted to just say on mine i was just going with joe like on a level of 
she was old, man. Like, not to even be dismissive, but, like, when you get past, like, 70s and 80s, when you die, to me, it's like, okay, Dan, you lived a, you know, a nice life. Yeah, that shit ain't been, like, like, like it's, it's, and it, it's sad in the manner of, oh, okay, it's over, but, like, it's not hit, it, it's not the same type of sad as when they die, like, younger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is one of those, Aretha had a nice long life. She got a nice big ass fortune. She a freaking legend in the game. Respect all around. I mean, like, this is, yeah. that's one of those real, like, second line New Orleans home going type feelings. Because some, some, some deaths feel like, damn, like, death. Yeah. You had more to do. Aretha was coasting, man. She was living. She was Bruh, good. She was pretty much coasting. She was cool, man. She had mean? already did so fucking much, dog. She had, a, like, she had like so level. many degrees, including one from Harvard. Uh, that lady conquered the world three times. She has sung for so many presidents. She did a lot of civil uh, rights work too, like on the low. You know Bought Angela mean? Davis out of jail. Like, bro, a lot of shit. A lot of her man. music is women based for women empowerment. Um, I mean, she just stayed a G. Yeah, <laughs> she, she stayed a G. She stayed a G. Right, now, fuck Fox right. News for putting up Patty LaBelle picture. I thought because they always that, do that. They did it on purpose. They, did it on purpose. they always do that shit, son. They did it on purpose. Like, was, when was, do they not do that shit? Like, I, I honestly think like they just be fucking trolling because y'all cannot be a yep. major news network and just not fucking know, dog. Like y'all yep. bitches know. Y'all yep. just being stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like I feel like every year like. They just do it once with some fucking body. Just put up like a random like that is that is not the person. Like y'all know this, you know. And this for then for it to be her her rival. Like, you know what I'm saying? On. That's that's just the you know. Like like really like really y'all um, come on. Uh. I bet even Patty was like, ain't that a fucking shame? It right. didn't even bother me really. I was like, of course Fox, right, right. We get it. Ha ha ha. You, you, you guys Fuck are finally here. planning to be in the bad guys in this world. Yeah, right, right. right. Thanks to y'all got a fucking it, you know, dick ass but, president. I mean, it's but, Fox News. Like, all right. Right. Only Fox I fuck with is FX. I mean, and pretty, Channel 8 New Orleans. I mean, and those aren't the same affiliates. That's different. It's going, and it's about to especially be different with the whole Disney acquisition. Oh, hell yeah. Disney's going to be like, uh uh-uh, uh, we ain't playing that shit. You hear me? But like, Fox 8 is a local thing, so that's not the same as Fox News. I was wondering about that. Yeah, and FX is on their Fox Entertainment brand, so that's still not the same as Fox News. It's a I it's see. a different thing. Okay. And so, and specifically, when Disney buys up all those properties, all Fox News is going to have is Fox News, and uh, I think they want to lean to um, what's it documentaries, something else. It's like they just want to okay. lean into news and like certain very specific as content, but they let it all go. And I'm like, let it all go 20th Century Fox. But it's just so, it's just interesting being wow. old enough to see companies buy out companies and eat out companies that yeah. you just always grew up seeing. Like, oh, that's 20th Century Fox. That's right. Disney. That's Warner Brothers. You know what I mean? And now that's all one big monopoly is what they're becoming. Oh, man. It's, it's, uh, you just, yeah. <laughs> Disney going to eat up like, everybody when it's all said and implications to that also. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's nerd out moment stuff I feel like I mean we can talk your shit son it's just no, so no, funny no. The, the, saying, one of the main like... properties that Fox is mad they about to lose and they fighting for is Simpsons though I just I, son uh... Simpsons aside son because I fucking love the Simpsons but like I just know that a monopoly of anything never turns out good like it always has extremely fucked up side effects you know what I'm saying? In different fucking ways, dog. And I'm just curious to see how this one is going to play out because it is a fucking monopoly. Like, they're getting damn near everything. Like, they get everything. You know what I'm saying? But they're getting a lot of key holdings in the entertainment game, son. Like, oh gosh. You know what I'm saying? Which is good, but it's like, yo, that shit, yeah, watch comes, that. That shit comes with fucking side effects. It's not man. a monopoly yet for the mere fact of certain people have ever risen. You know yeah. what I mean? The rise of Amazon. Amazon. That's, yeah. Amazon is is, is Which is thriving. a whole another fucking thing. Like, I mean? They got their own type of fucking monopoly about N- that. Slave time. labor. But I'm just saying, saying, if we talk about content, Disney Disney is just trying to make sure it's the biggest power. Because in taking them Fox, as long as it don't take nobody else, because they took up Marvel, but Marvel was its own entity. It wasn't like a mega power. And so they're making Marvel on a movie brand. They made it a mega power. It, it may not be a mega power, they took but in it's Star got Wars. Mega influence. They took in Star Wars, you know what I'm saying? And that was a big thing. But what I'm saying is this is the first time they're taking in another company that has branches that go that deep. Because Marvel, they had all the, they got all the content they get to get with that. Mm-hmm. Lucas, they get all the Star Wars content. Mm-hmm. But with Fox, they get Buku brands. 
Mm-hmm. They get Buku different brands. They get Alien. They get Predator. They get right. Bad Boy. Uh, not Bad Boy for the Sony. But it's like they got... If you look at the list of who they're getting, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so I understand what you're saying. But there's still a lot that's out there when you look at... You know what I mean? When you look at the Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is deep. You know what I'm saying? When you look at Universal. When you look at Sony. When you look at Amazon is growing now. And they about to have their own freaking hub. We look at Netflix. So it's like... If this would have been done 10, 15 years ago, it would have been a real problem. Now it's being done. That's probably why um, the governments are letting it ride. Because, you know, usually they don't let that shit happen because of the fear of true monopolies. That's a come... Um Somebody was supposed to merge her, I mean, five years ago, I want to say. And the court said no. Straight straight hated on it. They're like, no, that's too, ma- too, that's too big. So if, if, if Fox is going out like that to Disney... The, the playing field must be way more thicker than we even realize. Disney, bro, like. But Disney's still a mega power. They, they McDonald's in this. They bitch. are. They no, are. They are a Disney fucking is, yeah. giant yeah. whale. They are a whale they in are. the in the ocean. They All are. what's fucking left are just schools of fucking fish. I'm sorry. They might be like you know kind of something. A nice you know size uh, school, huh? Right, like it might be a nice size school. But Disney is the fucking whale, just <sighs> eating schools of fish at a fucking time. Disney are, you know but I, Warner Brothers a whale might not be as big as Warner Brothers a whale. Warner Brothers like a dolphin. Warner Brothers is <laughs> a whale. Warner Brothers. They playing it smart. They got a lot of shit under that brand. Warner Brothers is a fucking whale, but Disney is a also big whale. a whale. Oh, you know, okay, they're huh? a huge whale. No, no, I, I'm not doubting whale. the wellness of Disney. I'm just yes, saying dog. I wouldn't call Warner Brothers, Universal, or Sony schools of fish. I but, wouldn't call Warner Brothers a school of fish. I would call, who'd you just say? Sony. That's a school of fish. School of fish. Not Sony. Compared Universal? to what Disney is doing now. Okay. Maybe yeah. not in previous years, but now they have been dwarfed to a school of fish. Universal? Universal's magic, maybe. School, they... Universal. Universal... What's on the Universal? They're on their way, son. They're they're still hot, hot shit, but I think they're on their way, I think. To be a school of fish? I mean, Disney's really trying to load up for their freaking, um... Uh, What's going on with these? Their, uh, their streaming service. And, and like that's the hot hot shit. That's what they right really now. trying to do that's with the Disney Pictures. Right Let's see what you got in here. Uh, Universal Pictures has uh, Sherlock Holmes, Psycho, know. King Kong, Jaws, The Blues Brothers, Halloween, Conan, The Thing, Back to, Back to the Future, Man for Time, Chucky, Darkman, Beethoven, Jurassic Park Jurassic doing major Park, things right now. Flintstones, Casper, Prince of Egypt, Bring It On, The Chronicles of Riddick, Meet the Parents, Fast and the Furious is doing big things. Shrek. Shrek. Born. Uh, they have a TV show right dude. now. Madagascar. Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe, but only the Hulk films. That's going to be making the Hulk solo films. Panda. Uh, da, 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 da. Kung Fu Panda. They got a... Uh, Trolls was major. Dumb and Dumber. Sing. Universal is the first studio to have released $3 billion films in one year. Distinction was achieved in 2015 with Furious 7, Jurassic World, and Minions all coming out in the same year. And oh, they got the, that. They got that. Looking at this fucking list, ET, they, the they might be a school of fish. Oh, they got a lot of kids' movies like the Spickle with Me. That's the kids' movies is what hitting. I mean, Disney's its own entity, like all the way. But Disney, just, no, no, to me, they're like a school of fish. I won't call Universal a school of fish. These are just these are just a nice large school of fish. We dog. just looked at their rap sheet, though. Yeah, but they I, and that and I, I feel like if we look at Disney's, like point point blank, son, like they got some things in now. But <laughs> not a lot. Of- they're just showing the highest grossing films. Okay. That's right. what they're showing us. And that still don't look like if that's the highest grossing films. Compared to what Disney got, I feel like Disney will overpower that. Majorly. They do majorly. I mean, this I'm not debating that Disney is a big a big house, but I won't call Universal a school with fish. They, this, what would you call them? They're just a smaller whale than Disney because Universal also whale. had. They also got music. They also have TV. This is just their film. You know what I mean? Like Everybody uni- can't be no fucking whale. Universal is where most of the music comes from. Most remember well, back when we was growing up. Universal like, can be Shamu. You hear me? Like, <laughs> and with Disney, that's like a fucking like prehistoric <laughs> type shit. Like to me, saying? like Netflix is a school of fish to Disney because <laughs> Netflix. Netflix only got Netflix. 
You know what I mean? They're making their own movies, but they only got Netflix. They coming up. Yeah, they're you know coming what I mean? up. But they're coming up, but they're yeah. school of fish. They I are. see Disney is a monster because Disney got a channel. Disney got the parks. They Disney got, got the movies. Disney got the, Disney's the biggest, you feel me? Yeah. But Warner Brothers also has a stake in some parks. Warner mm-hmm. Brothers also mm-hmm. has the TV. Warner mm-hmm. Brothers also, you know what I mean? That's why, okay, these are yeah. two wells. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then That's I look at well. Universal. Universal got some stake in uh, Universal Studios. They also have the music. They also have, you know what I mean, their movies, and they also have TV as well. Now, they they're not as big, at, of course. Universal as the other Studios two. is only like how many lo- locations, though? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a Comcast, a Comcast. Comcast is trying to make that deal with with Fox, and oh, they couldn't so even Universal step up to Disney. Is a, is a no, no, no. They could. They just that Disney Which outbid mean, them. So there you go. If Disney can outbid you, then the war is lost. Your money ain't long enough to win. That's not out. See, you're going on a point that we're not even talking about right now. We're not saying that they are as big as Disney. So I'm saying that. To me, that's small fish. If Disney can eat you like that and buy you out, then you small fish. No, the eat. fact the fact that they was even competitive Not proves the, the point yeah, that they were they competitive. Were, they they were almost competitive. took it from Disney. Disney, almost. Disney had to go to the second round. Most a school of fish can't even go toe to toe to make Disney right. do another bid. Right. They made Disney have to do a second bid. Uh. They came with seventy bill in cash, like no, it's fifty six bill in cash. Nigga like, risked it all yeah. and still lost. Nigga, about to, nigga threw all but the dice and lost. They, they're gonna lose. Disney, Joe. Disney, Joe, Disney had to throw all the dice though. We already said that Disney's the biggest fish though. That's not the argument. I'm saying that to me, this look all right. That's nah, not the argument. Like, Joe, you got like to If they get eaten, they don't like a whale. They may not be no school of fish. They're something smaller. They're we said a fish. smaller whale. That's yeah, all we said before. How come they can't be a smaller whale if they just competed with Disney? If anything, that's the point you just proved. Nigga, they just competed. Like they got Netflix can't compete with them numbers. They can't. Like they got companies that cannot compete. Amazon can compete with Disney right now. That's the richest man right now is the owner of Amazon. So if he wanted to say fuck you, Disney, he could. You hear know I me? Mean? They got certain people who could compete with Disney. If you could compete, nigga, you got a dick. You got a dick, dog. If you, can if you can compete, if you can make them have to update Andy, if you can make them sweat. Especially Disney. Like if Disney? You make, if you make... You yeah, got like a you dick. you can make them fucking reroute. They have like, to reroute. Nigga almost went something. with that deal. They you almost went with that deal, dog. Disney had to be like, they had to forego something. Because Disney thought it was going to be... Everybody it, it, thought it, it, it was yeah. a clear shot. Yeah, Disney was only going to pay like done. 50 mil. And call done. It, and call it These niggas came with that boom, boom, boom. And everybody was like, oh shit, we was mad. We was, I've been following this bitch close. We was like, no, don't, right. don't, don't take it from us. And then Disney said, no, put this dick on hey, it. Yo, and then they, they kind of like, well, y'all got that. So no, they, of course we're going to lose. It's Disney. That's the biggest well. Disney but like the, the fact that they could fight, son, the fact that they could fight, son, I ain't going to. They did a lot in the ring, huh? Dude, they made them, they went rounds. <laughs> they went rounds with the champ. Oh. You go rounds with the champ, you got scrap. You, you got, got scrap, dog. Just because you stayed on your feet for Two rounds, no, uh, you got a little scrap, but that second round took you out. You know what I'm saying? Matter, son. It's not, it's not, it's not. That's a false. You didn't go to 12 round bout. Then you don't go 12 rounds in that round I in that type of situation. Nah. That's a three round fight, son. Yeah. <laughs> really, really, three. two, two, right? Rolling dice. One. We talking no, bills. This next one, we're gonna close this fucking. We ain't talking one bills. <laughs> we talking yeah. bills. Billions? Multi bills. Uh-huh. Our country is trillions in debt, and these niggas about to make us go even more so, bitch. You put those bills together, Disney threw up 70, they threw up 65, bitch, you got a trill, son. What are y'all doing? That's why the country's (laughs) fucked up, because of these niggas. This is why. Put billions in entertainment. Y'all playing with billions of dollars. That's the problem. Y'all got trillions together. Like, y'all got... Tease. If they came together, they got trillions. You have governmental money. Like, what the can, fuck are we talking about? They can about? save the world. Right. <laughs> but y'all want to make movies and shit. Ooh, like but, print, print t-shirts. But well, McDonald's will make nasty-ass, fake-ass burgers yeah. and shit. Walmart will sell us fake-ass clothes. I hate it. I gotta, um, I gotta go get some jeans from Walmart later on. My nigga, I need some processed food right now. I'm right thirsty now. as shit. You know what I mean? We, 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 we went we, to the, we went to the stove and smoking these blunts, nigga, talking all this shit. Ain't got nothing to drink, nigga. I'm about to die in this bitch. We but, done went so far from Aretha birthday. But yeah, dog. <laughs> dog, they had a fight. Y'all heard about the fight? No. A shooting? What, what is oh, over Aretha that. Franklin in Wait, Suffolk? What? I heard about that. A I heard shooting. about that. Suffolk, Virginia, dog. Police responded to a report of a gunshot victim Thursday. 
Uh, morning. Police say the shooting happened on the 300 block of East Washington Street, starting with an argument. The fight, um, Rachel Carden spoke to witness who said he heard the two people in a local barbershop, you gotta be a barbershop, oh my oh god, god. arguing over whether or not Halle Berry played or would play Aretha Franklin in a movie. Okay, All right. so what happened? So, so, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, before, before we read, before we read, I can Anymore. already diagnose this. Pause, what you saying, Joe? I can already diagnose this. <laughs> It wasn't about Aretha at all. Thank, okay, thank you. <laughs> Them niggas been had beef and somebody had been had it on their mind. They had, they had a fucking nigga moment. Yep. And it was like, you know, fuck moment. this nigga, man. I'm tired of this nigga. Always taking my shit. Always smoking all my weed and not paying. Now you want to tell me about Holly Berry not being Aretha? When I know Aretha wanted Holly Berry to be Aretha, but Holly Berry said she won't do it because she said she can't sing. Mm -hmm. But Aretha already knew she couldn't sing, but still wanted to do it anyway. Well, it says it's that they just started fighting. It turned physical. It just turned physical and... One nigga was losing. Pop, right. Pop, <laughs> I just asked what. And the fire, nigga you know? one got the gun. See? And started shooting. Nigga shit, son. That's just nigga shit. It's a straight nigga moment. Nigga. I nigga. have to completely detach the Queen of Soul from this. Sorry. <laughs> I have to. I have to. <laughs> I for my own sanity, dog. Because these niggas crazy. <laughs> but... Ain't that some shit, dog? <laughs> and you know it's some niggas, dog. Like right, that's what's like, so fucking. Look man. at this nigga, bro. Like look, really? look at like, nigga. He got a jerk curly shit. Nigga, you got Suffolk high. Oh, what man, you with some that. fucking pinkies up. What the fuck that is? Like so much that we do be coming at white America neck about, dog. This was one of those moments. Where I was like, you know what, white America. This was one of ours. Yeah, it was a nigga moment. This they was got a nigga moment. We got a whole list. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We got a whole list. But, like, we talking about the pettiness, dog. Like, dude, like, I love uh, it. Oh, God. The reading and the shit. Can we, like, pull up some? Is there any cue up? Dog, I, I had this one where, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Freaking Kev on stage, Harriet. The I one like when she's talking stage. about, uh. Oh, when she's talking about the dresses and the gowns. Yeah. Dog, she, dog. So, I yeah. watched a show called Patty LaHell, um, Got to Be Real. And it's like Buku, like people doing voiceovers of Aretha and Patty. Was that the one you showed me? Yeah, yeah. that's the one I like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Everyone, I was mourning the loss of Aretha Franklin today, and people were posting videos, and I had not seen this one, and the shade of it all! I see that the name Adele, what comes to mind? Mm-hmm. Young word. singer, good singer. Alicia Keys. Um, young performer, good writer, producer. Mm -hmm. Taylor Swift. Okay, great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. <laughs> Nicki Minaj? Nicki Minaj. Hmm. Now I'm going to pass on that. Beautiful <laughs> gowns? <laughs> Beautiful gowns. Dude. <laughs> no, that, that was just a multi. That was, was like one of many. But no. clearly you see who she thinks can sing and mm -hmm. who can just do other things. Mm -hmm. said Alicia Keys, great performer. Great performer. Producer. Uh, Composer. Producer. Writer. Songwriter. I was like, ooh. But Taylor Swift, uh, she did it so nice. oh, that yeah. bitch could dress. <laughs> nice gowns. Listen, she got some good, good gowns. Just Nicki Minaj. Angel. I'm just gonna straight pass, pass on that. Pass. I'm not even gonna have an opinion on that. Pass. I'm, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it alone. I am above it all. Here go another one. Wendy Williams and Rita Franklin shady moments. White boy Rick. First time. Oh yeah, we gotta take it. White boy there. Rick. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting little movie, I think. Even though it's probably a snitch. Damn it, because he's white. Hey, y'all go with this shit. Not y'all. You thought that Halle Berry would be great playing you, and Halle said something to the effect of, mm -hmm. "I can't sing, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to do Miss Franklin justice." I knew she couldn't sing. Yes, um, <laughs> I never expected her to, and she was uh, uh, my cho uh, first choice, but not my only choice. Yes. Do you still want Halle to play that role? I would like the person who's going to play me to be more confident. Uh, I understand. And you understand? Okay. Hey, I think that Jennifer happen. Hudson mm -hmm. would do a bang up job as okay. you. She has a good clear voice. A good clear mm -hmm. voice. And then how about Fantasia Barino? Could be Fantasia, could be uh, Jennifer. Queen you Latifah? Don't know. Okay. Uh, you don't know how wow. it's going to turn out. Well, I need to see if we get done. And then I want to I I play, play like. Would you Fuck Wendy for that. Mm -hmm. Fuck her for Wendy. that. Why would you throw Queen Latifah in there just so Aretha could be like, nah? But Queen Latifah can sing. And but sing. not on the same level, dog. That nah. is completely different, son. Queen Latifah cannot sing like the fucking women that she's naming. Like J, J fucking Hood, Fantasia, dog. That is... That's apples and fucking oranges, dog. But I think I think she was speaking on the level of you wanted Hallie who couldn't sing. 
So she's naming actors. Who yeah, but, yeah, but, but we already but, but, got, got yeah, past that shit yeah, though. Like, we were past people who pit, clearly yeah. can't fucking sing. Now you're naming singers. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna throw Queen Latifah who can sing. Mm-hmm. She can sing very fucking well. Yeah. I'm talking about levels here. You know what I'm saying? She's not in that same she ain't that lexicon gospel, back, of backwards choir singer. type trick. But she's a better thing. actor than Fantasia. So if you go, acting wise, yes. But that's what I'm just saying. So I, I'm gonna give Wendy a slight pass on level of maybe she she led with a perfect blend of acting and singing with Jennifer Hudson. Then she went with a great singer with Fantasia. Then she went with a great actor with Queen Latifah. Maybe that maybe I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell, tell, tell you this with this shady bitch Wendy. All right. And Wendy, Wendy is shady. She is shady. She is shady. And the thing with hers is that. She plays that line so well that it makes you think, like, oh, uh, it could be this or it could be that. Like, it could be her being petty or it could be her being nice. But the fact that she plays that line like that, I'm going to automatically give you the petty. Because you know that, like, I know what, the, what kind of game you're using here. That safe, that safe type of shit. You I'm put Queen Latifah in there knowing that fucking Aretha going to say no. Knowing you know fucking who Aretha is. Maybe I'm going to go with it. It didn't feel like that to me is all I'm saying. She could have been being shit. I just, I just didn't take it like that. that Came time. off just a little passive aggressive to me. Secretary or something. Would you be interested in helping to finance it? Oh, oh no, I want I want the laugh. Wait, before we got to that point, I want the laugh to go on when she mentioned Queen Latifah. Rita Franklin, Miss Franklin didn't skip a beat though. No, it was like, like, it was like, it was like no, no brainer. He, and, but I'm still talking about what I'm talking about. Right. Because it was so obvious. Like, like, we, even, so even, obvious. even even Rita was like, "Why you asking me some stupid shit like yeah, that?" Like, no, like, bitch. No, no. 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 On to the next thing. I don't think it was that big of a stretch. I think Queen Latifah could play. No, I, acting wise. Acting wise, yeah. I am. I'm talking supremely about like. Acting plus like the singing, the I mean I know I feel you on that level. Period. Like if I'm if I was casting a Aretha Franklin movie, I want someone like a Jennifer Hudson who can act and sing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But the mere the moment that they were even entertaining Halle Berry made me go, oh, so y'all's gonna have some fake singing go on for Halle Berry. So once they put my mind in that realm, I automatically start thinking of whoever's gonna get it. Their singing is not the number one that these people give a fuck about. Just, just like, for the mere fact like, she herself wanted her. I was like, okay, Just like thinking in like terms of the business, I, I, can, thought it I, can, I can kind of see them like trying to get just some kind of big, super attractive name on it. Yeah. You know, firstly. First, firstly, and like, I don't agree with that. I'm before, just saying, yeah, because they brought up Halle, that makes me go well. Singing is their first like care. Yes, I mean, it's Hollywood. But I think that's it's whack. Like, yeah. I feel like their it first is. care, I'm with y'all. Whack. I'm with yeah. y'all. I feel like their first care should be a fire-ass singer. Right. That, but we all as actors also want to be a fire, a good actor too. Yeah. You're real I mean? talk, real talk. Um, fuck that singing shit. If like, if you can act real good and do it real well, as long as you play my life out real well, then go ahead and, and Frankie Lyman and me, my nigga. But then that's the only reason why I say it, maybe that's why she threw in Queen Latifah for not trying to make her a uh, Aretha Franklin voice. Just because Queen Latifah can carry a note. She kind of heavy set and people know she can act. That's why Queen my Latifah mind don't went. Even you know what I'm saying? look like Aretha. They tried to go oh, Halle. Yeah. They tried to go. Once they went Halle, everything went. Exactly. Once she said Halle, everything went out the window. When I think of Aretha Franklin, I think that's Aretha being a little bit conceited. I understand that, but that's what I'm saying. Once that was thrown, if that was never thrown in, I'll be riding with y'all. Like, what the fuck you said, Queen? But no, son. They, their, their starting point was Halle Berry. Y'all like, wait. So we don't give a fuck. <laughs> we just don't give a fuck. Okay. I start random names. Beyonce. Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> right. Terry fucking Crews. While we're at it. <laughs> he can sing it on a wig. That nigga looks beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness, dog. Whatever they do, dog. If they ever tell a Pat LaBelle or Aretha Franklin movie, I would just hope that they keep it honest. Yeah. Because I hate watching those biopics that, you know what I mean, when you hear from like an old person, because you know a lot of times, you know, we're just getting old enough for biopics to be about people that we knew and grew up with. I don't want them to do another Tupac fucking Oh, man, fucking don't, even, don't, don't, don't get me started. That's, that's the Tupac. thing, you don't know what I'm saying? Don't Please, y'all, y'all gotta started. do this no, shit no, right. No, no, the Tupac movie bitch. had the soundtrack right, of Tupac's all songs to carry out the movie. <laughs> it was spoiled by Tupac's all songs. I don't fucking trust Hollywood, son, bitch. Y'all bitches better do this shit right. They need, they need to make a Tupac independent murder. movie. They need to make an independent Tupac movie. This is Aretha. Don't fuck this up. Okay, I've been holding my hand and my my head in my hands for the entire period because of how bad they messed up Tupac. And I think oh, they will make another Tupac movie in another generation. Hope so. In another generation, not right you now. You be white though. 
this ain't gonna be right. But all I'm saying is keep the honesty. I hate watching a biopic, and you know, like Tupac is a good example. There's a bunch of shit that they left out about this person in his life, his good and his bad. And a lot of times, they just want to paint shit one way, and I'm like, no, dog, paint, paint these people for real. Throw, they, throw the petty in there. Throw the petty and throw the and throw the honorable. Right. That's who people are. They're good honest. and they bad, dog. That that's the best biopics to me that don't try to paint no motherfucker no way. They say I Tanya was great at that. I want to see that one. But um, that's yeah. the shade. Yeah, I'm, when I'm off the shade, I just want oh, to say, I want to see if I want to see his last part. Cause oh, like, oh, yeah, I forgot what she, what she straight up called Whitney Williams balls. Called him broke, too, in his Yes, I just love... I just, How are you? Would you be interested in helping to finance it? Wait, wait, back, 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 back. Would you be interested in helping to finance it? Yes. Oh, done. And then I want to, I want to play like would a you, secretary or something. Would you be interested in helping to finance it? Okay. Oh well, Miss Franklin, I'm only in the second season of my show. <laughs> okay, check's not big enough. Oh, 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 that was gangsta shit. The check's not big enough. Boy. That's so plain Jane street shit. Yo, check ain't long enough. So even. The bag it up to her facial expression when she had that little chuckle. Who should have? Oh, oh. <laughs> that look was like, oh, this is a broke bitch. That's her face. Her face said, "Why am I even on the show?" Out with two chains for reason. Not big enough. Let me go. Let me go back. Show. <laughs> That part, uh, boom, right in your face. Uh, that, that, is is a shirt. Shirt. that is a shirt. I was on the show with Oprah. Why am I even here? Dude, dude, dude. Uh, I was just on with Oprah. Why am I here with uh, first little chuckle? So this is the company. That I'm chuckle in. has no humor in it. That That's is real. That is the. That street shit, son. That is not a chuckle oh, of amusement. That is chuckle of, oh, this, this is broke, but. That street shit. That is a nigga in there. Oh, that shit's okay. channeling. Check's not big enough. They just put the oh, hand on it. Check's not Not even laughing with you. You laughing with me. Right. She's not laughing. She's serious. She chuckled you won't at you. You be in my movie, but you're broke. <laughs> yeah, you you need some checks out. It's not even that you won't be in my movie, bitch. You try to call shots in my movie, or you try to throw some money I'm up. About to say, like, you tell me to roll you Are you trying to pay in? Like, you know I mean? Are you trying to put in on on this Tell man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, straight up. God damn. So yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, Aretha Franklin. Yeah. Big big ups. You did the world a favor. I hope Patty do sing at a funeral though. Oh uh, yes, P E C T. I think she's gonna do uh, "Ain't No Way" because that's a song that Patty does a lot on her own tour. Period. That's, and then she also did it as a tribute for Aretha when she was alive. I mean, they were frenemies. Like yeah. they had their moments. They were they divas. Had, they just, you know, they were frenemies. They was in a diva dog. era, dog. On one side was this coin, on that side that coin. And really, is good. as far as music, they went two different directions. It was just vocally, I guess they were like compared as divas, like dress and vocals. But they I went swear. two different different directions as far as music. Aretha went soul power and and like uh, woman empowerment and like you know deep love with a man kind of thing. Pat LaBelle went to more go go sexy. Uh, fun, upbeat, you know, kind of thing. One, nice. one thing I, ooh, but one thing I respected about the women of that day, and you know, a little bit after that was they were competitive with each other. But they like if you look at a Nicki Minaj, you could tell Nicki Minaj don't want no other women around but her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Versus She's them, hard right they, they they like okay, you competition. Well, I'm about to we about to go. You feel me? It was it never felt like one of them felt like that one should just not exist. You know what I'm saying? When I was listening to that Nicki Minaj album, I'm like, man, like, how many little subs you gonna sit in that car? Like, damn, yeah. I'm saying. I never had to strip to get the pole position. Like, damn. All right, so like, who is that for? Bro, right, like, right. Who is that for? Like, I'm leaning more and more back to that 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 um that apology I gave Joe a few podcasts ago when he said she was trash and I tried to defend her and I'm like, my goodness, dog, you keep showing Nicki that you kind of got you got some trash ass behavior about you, dog. If you the queen, why you taking shots at Cardi after saying you ain't got no problems? If if you the queen, why is you bringing Safari up? Right, like come on, you're supposed to be above anything. And right, you're supposed to be completely above that shit. Like looking down on it, like it, it doesn't even matter. Your aunt, right? You know what I'm saying? But you brought you put Tiger, you maybe, put maybe, this man maybe, maybe, maybe you're the fucking aunt. What's that? Like, Mentally. You know more like saying? more like the heart of the grasshopper. I don't like. I don't know. Yeah. Some like they got so many things. Like if you really who you claim that you are, right. some of these trash. Like he, she shot. She she stopped. She, she jumped in someone's DMs that she found was talking shit about her that wasn't even like a celebrity, like it was like a regular motherfucker, and they put her out there for jumping in DMs. I'm like, son, like that's our dog. Jigga don't do that. B don't do that. Re don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like right. the, the M don't do that. You hear me? Like nigga, Drake don't do like Drake ain't about Drake about to do some sim shit, but Drake is not about to really get into some argument with a, a regular mother like dog. Lil Wayne about to do that. Like I mean, if you really who you say you are, he ain't about to you, do, you know, are. energy. Who you say you are? A superstar. 
Then have no fear. And she got a lot, dog. And it's, it's so bad because my like, if you just focus on you, you're better than that bullshit. But then you pull yourself into it, and that makes us feel like, are you though? Like, yeah, dog. You hear me? Are you really showing us you? I don't know, son. The only just to play dog's app. Maybe she's doing it because she knows people are gonna buzz, it to buzz about it. You know. But it's backfiring now. Like, right. a, like not, a lot of people are just getting over her versus being into her That's because of yeah, effect. it's not having a good effect because it's like you're not allowed. You you like to say you buy women empowerment on these other tracks. You're not really showing that through your music. You're really showing like women depowerment or whatever the fuck whatever the word is to not empower women. And Lil Kim was talking about how, like there's so many people that have all these Lil stories. Lil Kim even took the high road. All these stories about like my like she don't seem like she want to like be equals or be on the same platform. She get mad at like Cardi B's ascendance. I'm like son, if you would have just you can't take aim at somebody so loved and think that you're gonna get love back. Like it's not gonna work. And then time passes on, ho. You can't be the queen forever, like like in this in the rap game, especially. It's not like you singing in this rap game. You know what I'm saying? Other people will come up. You know what I'm saying? And crowns pass. Right. Crowns you know what I mean? You gonna like she could have a spot, but you could get the you, spot you, back. You could have you could have been a queen without even being a queen by taking a young one in. Taking a young one in, let you know by acknowledging it's her time. But if you drop something raw, you are gonna still be respected. Right. Y'all can do shit together. Powers. You know right. what I'm saying? To combine powers, more and more, especially and, the women. Right. Especially, especially. and in this fucking rap but, game too. A lot of women hate each other for some reason. So the one thing, the one thing I'm well in the rap game, a lot of times they get pitted against each other because there's so few of them. So most times it's who better between these two? They got so many niggas that you know what I mean. But niggas get I, the I guy like to run a, free. I feel like in the rap game, even though more niggas got opportunity, at first not too much these days. At first, that's what it was like for everybody. It was like nigga, who got it? Who got it? You got it? I got it. Who got the bars? Not nah, as so much. Nigga don't care about the bars. Nah, 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 nah not the bars. Who but one the thing, the nah. only, ha, <laughs> but the one thing I will give Nikki that she fights for, and who knows if that's to her betterment or not, is if you really wrote all your raps, mom, and you want to fight the notion that you don't, that's the one thing I'm be like, we'll fight it then, bro. I mean, I never fight you defending your art, your craft, right? right. Your real, your true respects, because as an MC, your, your scroll is 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 is. It's, is it's life. That's your Bible, dog. Especially if you, you really it. did write it. If all. you wrote your scroll, dog, then you gotta you gotta fight for that every time. That's your baby. That's your life. That's right. you. Right. I hit your identity on paper. Right. But you ain't gonna be as petty as you are. But then all that other shit, all you gotta shit. like. It's just a little bit unnecessary, especially at the level of status financially where you at. Because apparently spiritually, you haven't grown too much. Even stats. She always says stats, stats, stats. Your stats are mighty, Nikki. You don't gotta be petty. You don't. You really don't. You son. really don't, like, son. After, you made super base. After a certain mark, dog. Like me personally, I just wouldn't even care, son. Mm -hmm. Like after fucking accomplishing so much, as much as she fucking did, mm -hmm. I would literally not give a fuck. I would be at my fucking mansion. Mm -hmm. Talk y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? Chilling the fuck out. Like, Drinking champagne out of happy. Grammy cups, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Out of the we, Grammys. I would, I, I would start a web show just laughing at the negative tweets I get. Like, look at this I'm one, y'all. Like, right, sip, 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 sip of my champagne. Read the put on. Look at this one, y'all. Completely turn the shit around. Come on, And son. make more money off of that it shit. It wouldn't bother you know what me. Saying? It just wouldn't bother me, dude. Especially coming. We spoke on this on the last one. Where we come from. Like, you, yeah. you, broke. you took it right out of my you mouth. Broke. We used to be you broke. No, you was broke. No we used booty. To be broke. No titties. Now, now, we, now we don't even think about a light bill. Hmm. Like, what the fuck are we fussing about? Hmm. Hmm. Must be crazy, oh, man. man. Out your goddamn mind. I pray. You came a long way. I pray if any of us get to that level that Bruh. we stay. Humble? Remembering this, right? Being broke being and broke, looking dog. at these type of figures as if they didn't lost their goddamn fucking mind. Oh, you gotta be crazy. Like money don't solve everything, but I'm not gonna on lie, like dog. a certain level, y'all y'all got to be crazy, dog, to be really fighting like in this way. Like if we gonna fight, like fight about some real, real, real like life or death shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not, not this dumbass fucking rap song shit, yeah. dog. Like not dumb as your art. You know what I'm saying? But like, come on now, like we. Doing uh, subs and songs now with beats and I mean, I'm shit. not even going to hate on the rap beef necessarily. As when, it's much, when it's real beef. When it's real beef. When it's real. You know yeah, I mean? if it's you real. Pick, you, you decided not to like Cardi. Right, you know like I mean? it wasn't like, yeah. like that. You decide to pull your ex safari into some shit. You right. don't even think about you. You decide to drop Tiger name to everybody. Like, like, you That's you, just, saying, you decide right. to hop in this chick's DMs because she didn't say nothing good about you. Like, dude, you, you're making decisions to, do, to have this negativity come upon you. Right, nigga, uh, when you could just chill, like you said, in your successful ass bubble. Just be cool. Cool. You no. won. You fucking you won. You won. You won the game, dog. The fucking game we all trying to play, bitch. You won it. 
why are you still out here trying to insecurities, man? You know, deep insecurities, things that money like, can't 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 fix. And yeah, well, thing. and maybe they can if you go spend it to oh, talk to somebody. Yeah. But she, but yeah, but she ain't spending, she ain't spending the money in the right. She ain't spending it on herself. Yeah. She ain't loving herself. You know what I'm saying? She ain't loving herself, dog. Like I said, you don't need the money necessarily for these things, but she she's spending the money. But motherfucker, you got issues. Yeah, yeah I love herself a little bit more, dog. Just a little bit more. I mean, fuck. I ain't hit it because I don't know her personally. We don't I ain't know her. Right. Yeah. We don't know her. We don't know her. You know Full disclaimer. Yeah, we do. We don't know, know you. Her. But judging but, from what niggas see, it's like. And from the things you say on your through your music. And even interviews. I'm about to say, just like plainly saying. From know. words, lyrics, tweets. Body language. <laughs> <laughs> Video footage. Fuck. You have said a lot. Other people's yeah. accounts of you. Right. right. Like, come on now. It's like, it's not too, it's not looking too good. So, I don't know how we got on Nikki, but we got on Nikki. But let's get into another black person. Oh, because Aretha Franklin, because when she said... Oh, because Aretha Franklin yeah. just said, mm, skip. <laughs> skip. That was Aretha. Yeah, that was a reason. Aretha. That was because yes. Aretha. So, uh, moving on to the next thing. What's going on now? This may be what the Trump administration has been wary of. A former employee bad-mouthing the White House, as former aide Omarosa Manigold Newman has been doing to promote her book. She has released several secret audio recordings, claiming the latest one is proof that Trump wanted to silence her after she was fired. The former reality show star is promoting her new book titled Unhinged, in which she makes a number of controversial claims, including that she has tape of Trump using a racial slur. Low life. She's a low life. The Trump campaign has filed to force Manigault Newman into arbitration, accusing her of breaching a 2016 non-disclosure agreement or NDA. They say the agreement forbids her from speaking poorly of Trump or of anything she witnessed in the White House. Um, I'm not surprised. In fact, Donald Trump brags about using litigation to intimidate people. He's trying to silence me. He's afraid of what I would share. And that's why you see these actions from Donald Trump. Uh, she didn't turn face. Uh, she turned heels. I mean, she didn't put up the gun. I know we all, we all know she's doing the, uh, the book. She's dropping the book. And yeah, now she's she trying to be... The book. She got all this fucking... Supposedly she got audio and video now. Oh, she dropped two tapes, so she got the audio. yo. So two hundred mixtapes. But I mean, honestly, I don't know why she's doing it. Well, outside of the book shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not about to like redeem her fuckery in any sort of way. In some ways, it kind of is. Some people are getting on her side. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's trippy. And once again, the book is the big deal to her. You know what I mean? It's the fact that the more eyes she could get on her book, and then Trump b took the bait and called her a dog. Now, you know, whether you want to have jokes about the black delegation or not, black people ain't about to be cool with you calling a black woman a dog. You not know what I mean? Not, not you especially Trump. you not Trump. Especially not you but, Trump. And then, then, then try to act like that's not a racist statement to make. You feel me? That's so, a, that's a, that, that, thing, that statement's so problematic. I could, it's, it'll take a E equal MC square uh, kind of conversation to break that down. How fucked up that statement is to call anybody a dog. I feel you on real nigga. I feel you on real nigga shit though. Like you know, what I mean, she's still gonna be Amorosa to us, but like, like no, some I, some people are way easier. Let me tell you something, Amorosa. Oh, oh Jay, we we got we fifty fifty chips. Oh, okay. bitch is loud as fuck. I don't know why they say anything. Because I first, I'm thinking as, as every chip I I'm thinking about to be his last. No, maybe it's gonna hit that. No, like, wait, it's getting loud. Like, the fucking chips, nigga. Back That's up. what I'm telling you now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that nigga was enjoying the bitches though, like just sitting there, just like. Mm. Boy, he was enjoying the yeah. fuck out them things, right, boy. Right, Zaps, you heard me? Good, you heard me? Produced did this episode sponsored by Zaps. God damn it. Doom. You hear me? But uh. Yeah. But what I was saying about Omarosa. Listen, all right. In the black family, the black delegation. We choose who we want and don't want. But overall, at the end of the day... That lady black. She black. So you ain't she, gonna be calling that lady no dog, you white ass, so, racist yeah. ass, tight yeah. ass. We're gonna, we gonna take her in. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Just for that. Just, just for that. Just for that alone. But she didn't have to drop tapes or nothing. She that cousin we just fuck with at a distance. Right. We really don't fuck with you. You just happen to be in the family. You just happen to be in the family and... The white man says something, so we gonna as black people be like that's yeah. fucked up. But still, I will, I, will, I will sympathize with her on that. On only, that alone, but I'm but not see, taking you in though. No, you're not I'm coming just inside the house. Sympathizing just with this because Omarosa is a person who uh, is like based on survival. Her whole instinct is based on her survival, and you can see from all her tactics from when we used to watch her in uh, Apprentice to when she came back and then she was running with it and things she did with Donald Trump and even in the office and how she's running her book. Her whole life is based on survival tactic. So you really can't, you always got to keep an eye on her because she will sell you out 
for her own survival. Not like for the culture, not for for the white man. No, for her own survival, she'll sell anybody out. And any kind of person like that, you got to watch. And her newest information is apparently um, Trump is threatening Melania with deport deportation. That's why she stays <laughs> with him. That's why she stays with him and won't get a divorce because a divorce, a divorce would be too humiliating. Did you leave? You gonna leave for real? <laughs> you, you gonna leave and never come back? He gonna and, get rid of Ivanka? He gonna come back with Stormy? I mean, but guess what's funny Stormy though? Stormy sued his she, ass right She now gotta go too. back to Russia where well, he got power at on the slick side. I feel like Trump has Melania Russian. I don't know. Mm. Ima, Melania Trump uh, sounds pretty Russian to me. Ivanka. Nah, Melania is his, his wife. Oh yeah, Ivanka's Melania. Melania tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melania. Melania is his wife. Let's, let's Google this. Ivanka just sounds like that. Uh, no, it's his know, daughter. Ivanka. Well, it's either his daughter or ex ex-wife. But Melania Ivanka's Trump. Daughter. Yes. Definitely. Melania Trump is his uh, yes, wife. wife. Where's she yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Um, Melania Trump is from Slovenian America. She's Slovenian. In the Yugoslav, Yugoslav, Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia. So it's ob obscure part. All right, not too far from So Russia. it's more like German. Yugoslavia. It's a Slovenian American. Yugoslavia. Current first lady. She was born in Nova Mesto, and grew up in Srebrenica, Srebrenica, in the Yugoslav Republic of Slovenia. She's Slavic. Slavic. Mm -hmm. Her name was Germanized to be. Not, oh my gosh, she got all kind of shit going on with her. But uh, either uh, way it goes, well, man. Niggas, I might get rid of your ass. We gonna sit back and her like real spelling on her name, though. Uh, yeah, man. They gotta break it down. <laughs> they gotta break down all that. But That's cool. Omarosa was just saying that uh, she's being held hostage, and I don't know, bro. She's still a privileged white woman, so I don't really give a damn if you really deport her. I, I, I literally give no fuck. You try to you try to take uh, Michelle beautiful speech. You was riding right there Son, with your husband, nigga. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to beg the difference a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to beg the difference a little bit. Because throughout this whole journey, I used to watch, I watched, watched through her whole journey, I watched her be put in a position where she thought it was one thing, and from day one, she was like, I'm not feeling this shit. Not Even feeling being a first, coming. not being a first lady necessarily, something, but man, I can direct you to some articles, open my eye on how she's been very, very riding with the shit. You know how what I'm saying? How old is she? She was born in 1970. She's a grown ass woman, huh? And how old is Trump? Like, how much older is he? About 40 years. No, I truly don't give no fuck, man. She's born 1970. I mean, she just... Like, man, screw up. She ever screwed sugar like, daddy. She's a grown-ass woman. 1970, bitch. You ain't yeah, just some yeah. little girl. You ain't no fucking... You, this, this you, you fucking was a frail, freaking... No, right. You know, flower, you know what I'm no, saying? No, she's not. You have a sugar You're daddy, a though. person out here, you know what I'm saying? No, so, sorry. This, bro, these articles are talking about how basically they try to use... Um, that 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 rhetoric to try to make her victim to so people can feel some way about her so she can still ease in some of the shit that Republicans and Trump want to be on just in a different scape. That's why sure. I'm not Textbook I'm not falling. Then they started then they started quoting different things that she said on her own and maybe go well well bitch well look maybe you didn't want to be first lady but you've been pushing negative negativity just as well so your ass I can give a damn what happens to you. Sorry yeah sorry, sorry. You look good though look sorry good. ain't about to get this cat. And yeah. they, they, then they talk about how oftentimes it's like black men that come to her rescue. It's like, this black man ain't about to come to your rescue. Sorry, Sorry. Black men come to her what? White women rescue or her rescue? Melania. Don't care. About uh, like de um, defending her when people talk about uh, Trump. And it's like, there's some of how it's like a lot of black men usually be stepping up and be talking like for her. <laughs> really? And, yeah, it's a funny thing. I'm, I'm going to leave that's, it that's, alone. That's weird. I don't know a single one. <laughs> I don't know a single one either. That's weird, but that's weird. That's really just here. my personal experience. I'm, 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 in, I'm in the comment section. It's dumb. <laughs> I like, it's legit. Like, yeah. and it, it is, but it's, it's not just black men, but black men do it. It's like, you know, different people, white women especially. Right, so I mean, people do it. You hear me? But it's like, you know, I've seen it, but it's like, a, a, it, I, won't, I won't throw that on black men and say black men just do this. Right. I'm just saying it's interesting. In the article to note that way, damn. That there's a we be keeping of niggas that's actually. I think generally speaking, fuck her skin. Niggas cape for bad bitches, straight up. That's White kinda, woman, that's black how woman, I about Spanish like, woman. Yeah, I, I've looking. seen niggas just cape for good cape looking for women. Like, when lose a draw, then when you throw in, and I will give the um that them this that I will give them the point of that party likes to position her as if she's a victim, and niggas in general like to play protect. Play, play, I'm Superman and shit. Yeah. Specifically and especially for good looking women. So if you get into the subconscious and you use a good looking woman and make it seem like she's in a victim position, a hard. lot of niggas gonna come caping for her. For sure. Now, if she looked like something less, um, um, uh, aesthetically, uh, what's the, what's the stereotype of beauty, then you wouldn't That's even see as much. Beauty. That's conventional beauty. It wouldn't be as, 
Boom, boom, boom. Niggas wasn't riding for uh, Barbara Bush, bitch. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? I know a whole bunch yeah. of president wives that was not on the same shit that the president was on. The niggas ain't say shit about her. They discretion, nigga. It's because she bad. The game is hype based, dog. Hype. Hype based. It was, it was, I love your quote that you always say, dog. A nigga will do anything, anything for, for the, the prospect, prospect of pussy. pussy. I live by it. For I the prospect. That's blue magic, son. I guarantee yeah. it, son. <laughs> I stand by it. I stand that's by a, that, dog. That's, that's a quote. That's a brand. Listen, 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 I stand listen, by listen, that, listen, dog. Listen, listen, that's blue magic, baby. That's blue magic. magic. All right. Now, they all know you to know me. Rather than I like, oh, fuck, I got to get the line. You got to get the line. I'm going to watch that. I ain't seen American Gates in a minute, dog. I'm going to watch that, bitch. Dog, no, get y'all swag that shit, dog. That's a brand name. I stand by it. I guarantee it. Yeah, Hell yeah, but, so, right, but uh, like, yeah, so, well, Trump, like, do, Trump, just, like, do y'all think he's going to win in 2020? No. Yes. Somebody exceptional would have to come along. And right now, I don't see who it is. They got the midterms coming up in a couple of months. Um, it doesn't mean shit. But uh, I think Donald Trump definitely has the power to win this shit again because... I think by the time we get there, if nobody like super, super exceptional comes that just obviously can like win, people are just going to vote Trump because we're already in the mix with this dude. Like, you know, just just keep the fucking train going until it crashes. Or not shit. vote at all, which is still a vote to Trump. Yeah, that's still like that's how he got in the fucking office. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, partly. Partly. But I'm just saying, dog. Like, White it's, people are the reason he's in office. Yes. And... <laughs> They did it once. They can do it the fuck again. You know what I'm saying? Like, and his approval ratings, weirdly enough, has risen with black people. With yes, black man. people are black men. I have been hearing because I heard it was black men mostly than black people. I've been hearing more black black people not give him a pass per se, but they're just starting to examine more angles with his term. And uh, I mean, because black people do the best to make a bad a best out of a bad situation. Put it like this, dog. I I. I I don't remember what the headline said because the nigga was debating me. He he, sent me, he put the article up. I actually went and read the article and the article broke down the shit. And um, I, I feel like it said people, but I also remember men being a standout in the article. Because I only see too many when black you, women. And, and I'm just going to go back to the original, dog. The highest amount of people that voted against Trump, that voted for Hillary, were black women. Were black women. Black women had the highest voter turnout and had the highest numbers towards Hillary's base. It, it was just ridiculous. Fuck, was smart, Black fuck, women were completely uh, it's, against it's, this it's, motherfucker. It's, 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 it's <laughs> so, just white women who we don't want, or it's the devil. Is, and, and that was an instance of when you got to pick between a lesser of two evils, you go lesser. You don't just go, don't do nothing, or just go evil. Yeah. Both options were wrong, and now we're in a mess. And honestly, I don't know. At one point, I was going, I was saying yes, like I mean, no, like Joe. He gonna be out of here. Then at another point, I was feeling like, man, these niggas might just ride with this nigga because he already yeah, here. Yeah, because he's just already here. Because people in this status quo shit, I think it's going to be. You ride out of the storm, huh? You feel me? So it's like, I don't know. So I, honestly, I he's wouldn't already be. already doing Max, man. I Damn wouldn't it. be surprised either way. Like, if he won again, no surprises. No surprise. If he lost again, no surprises. Yeah. I have a, it'll be a side of relief to a degree. You know, hope he lose. You know what I mean? It'll be like, oh, good. But it would be like, well, look what he did. He had to lose. But like you said, dumb D. He's done so much that with anybody else, even white, like, dude, and we often say that Trump does things that if Barack did it, he would have been crucified. At this point, Trump is doing things that even if another white Democrat, if Bill couldn't get away with some of the shit that Fuck Trump did. No. Bill couldn't get away with getting hit. No, because yeah, Bill man. is a liberal, and, like, they will crucify liberals to the fucking death, dog, like, to the end of time. Son. Whether well-meaning or not well-meaning, dog, if you are a liberal, dog, they'll be ready. And that's another thing, too, being liberals, and since most liberals, like, in the Democrats and stuff, they try to be more fair-minded, Republicans don't try to be fair-minded. At all. They're, this they, is this. They fucking play this is dirty. This. And this that is, this is this. the problem with the Democratic Party. That is the core... To me personally, they Pisces. I'm a Pisces. They're Pisces. Bruh. Democratic Pisces. The they Democrats. don't know how to fucking play dirty. We just want to just be cool. They everybody, do everything understand fair, everybody. Just, just, just follow the rules. You know, justice is gonna fucking win. No, the fuck it's not, man. The fucking opposition plays dirty. They bend the rules. They outright break the rules most of the time, and they be fucking making making waves. They get shit did, and you bitches want to play fucking fair with them. With, with people that's not. Like, it's completely him. absurd, which is why I say the entire party needs to be wiped out, get all the fucking dams out of there. 
like off they're with their heads. Just off with their heads. Like start completely over. He's saying bend the so, knee. Bend the knee. Bend the knee. Because they got too many ties with like these corporate fucking businesses and shit. Like corporate dams need to get the fuck out. I mean, that's the case. Both parties is clear. <laughs> that's, Honestly, a, that's the over. I don't think that's truth. the real. Both as soon as we, as soon we get to the, uh, the, the, yeah. the all these uh, motherfuckers that they promise and shit too, I can't think of the word for them, but you know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as we get to those corporate interests and stuff, such um, yeah. you having your to do with your vote, that's on both. That's on both parties. Both, yeah, both. Both of y'all motherfuckers are like, guilty. It needs to be wiped out. Like, and, just, like just start. Fresh, and I, I said know. this podcast is good, dog. And it needs to be younger. We need yeah. to go a little younger. We need some young. Y'all got yeah. motherfuckers in the House of Representatives and in Congress and shit that need to be gone. Need to be dead. Need to be dead. Need to be dead. Yeah, at the very least, you hear me? Your 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 the time. time your, gone, your kind of thought has no place here. Yeah, like which is why you deserve no vote. Sorry, you need to just live your last years and fall the fuck off the earth right. because you are in a time period that has no bearings no and bearing shouldn't have any on bearings on current. right now. At Sorry, all. put them out the pasture. All Sorry. of them. They need age limits on how old you need to be as well. There's age limits on you can't be this age until I mean, you can't you just go until you're this certain age. Okay, fine. Well, when you get to a certain age, sorry, I'm I, not being ages. I'm being re- pragmatic here. Pragmatic, dog. Out to the fields. Let's go. Enjoy the rest of your life. We need new ideas. We need new relationships because so much of what y'all do is based off these relationships. Some of it decades old course, relationships yeah, and definitely. bullshit. Well, we need new people to come in and make new relationships, new relationships based off new foundation, with some based new off deals, with some new everything. deals, some new ideas and shit and shit. If you want to get involved with some corporate business, get involved with some newer corporate entities like some weed establishments right. or some fucking at least some corporate ones that got our best fucking interest interests. in mind. Come on, you know what I'm man. saying like trying to make the shit better. Instead of richer, you know what I'm you saying? Know what, like you know what? Know what's funny? You know what's funny? After doing dirt and fucked up shit for all those years they've been in the office, you would think they would have a heart to be changed. To be like, you know what? Let's make things better. We can actually do it. But they don't. Because no, they don't. Because that <clears throat> costs money, and, and it goes and, by. And nobody wants to be less rich. It goes back to what we said at the very top of this podcast about change. change. Nigga don't want to do that. Realize you wrong means you also got to fix some shit. And like you said, fixing some shit also means that you got to spend some money. Also means you got to admit wrong. Relinquish also, some shit. also relinquish, relinquish some shit. Take consequences. Take that heat. Realize you got people in jail that shouldn't be in fucking jail. Realize you ruined some lives that you got to pay for. There's a lot that comes. I come with that. With, with that shit. Which is why, you know what I mean? I'm not surprised. That's what I'm saying. Me and D on the same level. Look, clear these motherfuckers out. Let's make new dirt. Fuck it. We need right. new dirt because old dirt, dirt is dangerous. We need new dirt. New too motherfucking many, dirt. Too many parasites in that shit, man. Come on, son. Let's get out of there. Man, y'all saw that video with the black cop beating the fuck out that man, son? Nah, nah, I didn't. Which one? Man, the one, uh, I talked about this on Misbelief, man. It blew me. It blew me, son, because it's like, dog, it was like, you know, we always talk about these goddamn, you know what I mean, like how, like cops in general, the blue line and all that shit. Yeah. And like some people be feeling like, you know what, if we if we just had more um black cops in black neighborhoods, then people wouldn't get fucked up. But then you see shit like this with this black cop beating the shit out of this man just because he said, I'm not about to give you my ID. What for? Nigga, I should be able to ask you, why do you feel like you need my ID, man? That nigga put the pause on him. He put the pause on this man, son. But he also got... I'm still on the what? For what? Oh, oh. Hold on. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Nah, I feel like, nah, since the beginning of this video, I also when I watch this, I feel like there was something else going on at the beginning of this shit, too, because, like, I don't know. I'm still on the steps, what? You can't, you can't, you can't, okay, now see, I'm not going, you about to say because the nigga pushed his hands on him, no, 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 no. I'm not about to justify this, I'm not about to justify it, slow down, slow down, the cop was wrong across the board, but I feel like in these days, you should fucking know how these bitches is, dog. like, they are looking for you to do any. That's Any kind of movement, son. And I feel, I, feel, okay. I feel like I'm this, just, you can't, like, dog, you can't yell at that nigga face, too, like that. That bitch like, is crazy, son. Like, he like he was yelling at that nigga face, dog. Was that close to that nigga's face? Yeah, like, the cop just started. I don't care. I don't care. This is not wanted. That ain't wanted. That ain't wanted. No, look all this. Yeah, this is completely different. Look all this. Look all this. He's fighting, dude, dog. Look all this. I'm not touching him. Yeah, no, you can't do it. All right. That's too much. That's too much. I got all that, man. No, we got all that. I got all that. I got all that. I got all that. Yeah, we got all that. Hey, yo, what the f*** you do that for, man? 
You're supposed to be better than this. I'm yeah. sorry, cops. I understand this what you're saying about realities and about how cops are and this and that, but at the end of the day, we shouldn't even be thinking that that's how cops yeah, are. At the end of the day, you are police officers, you are trained. Even, even if a nigga yelling better. at you, you, I could, I would even taken you roughing him up and just slamming him against the wall and or something. But the way that you put the paws on this man, nah, all the way down much. to the ground, yeah. no, that was not no police work at all. That, that was, was not, not police, police work. work. And yeah. fuck, and fuck the other cop that was with him because you didn't really yeah. stop nothing. You let but it go down. He, he let that shit happen, dog. That was I don't a know if they got, pre, got prehistory. Him that cop and that dude. That don't even fucking matter. Man, that has no fucking consequence on the situation, dog. Because he didn't. It wasn't like he grabbed him and tried to like put him in cuffs or something mm -hmm. like that or restrain him in any kind of way. He went on offense, dog. That was straight offensive. Like, he wasn't trying to stop dude from doing nothing, dog. Like, you throwing punches. Yep. Like, uh-uh. No way. No fucking way, dog. Yeah, but he resigned after this. I wanted to, I forgot oh, his really? name. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, because he, 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 he wasn't trying to take that leg. Oh, Yeah, he wasn't trying to take that leg, son. Wow. Um, oh, God, yeah, man. And I'm trying to find his name again because I said his name on goddamn misbelief. I don't feel like going into my uh, email. It was like Avery something. It was something like that. Uh, and it's like I said, this was in Baltimore where, in Freddie, Baltimore. where Freddie Gray got killed by y'all motherfuckers. And we and already you, know the Baltimore cops have a known history of being on, very fucking fucked up. Brutal as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like at their at the core. And, and y'all got to know <laughs> And y'all got the nerve to just be sitting up here and thinking you could just like just just swing your dick like that, dog. Like that that is troubling. That is so troubling, son. Cause like when you look at the white man who's going off about um you treating me like a black person, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I hate that, that shit was hilarious to me. Like like son, that but that's like yeah, I was so realistic. Like I was, was saying, the dog. Voice of, voice of truth. The truth yeah, is that this is how white people think. Yeah. That the norm is now that no black people get treated like right, this by police and white people get treated like this by police. So when I see a black officer doing shit like that to black people, I'm like, son, you're pussing master's agenda for him. Yep. Everybody they won't talk all that shit, but nigga, rappers ain't out here going in the neighborhood beating up people of that look like them. You know, be killing people that look like them once they on. They got them stories. They rap about what they rap about some, but no. You better go look at some of these supposed motherfucking niggas that's supposed to be de defending us. Come that's, on. That's and then when they look man. like us, dog, like I said, a lot of my worst stories of cops come from black cops, dog. I've had issues with white cops, of course. Over need to dog, for master. As, as, as far as cops, dog, I truly don't see no color, son. Blue. Y'all bitches are exactly the same. Blue, blue. Bitch, y'all gray. <laughs> I don't want to give y'all no fucking color because the color blue is cool. Y'all supposed to be. Oh, y'all white. Y'all bitches ain't cool. Y'all all white, man. Niggas see y'all white. Uh, the, uh, they didn't give the other officer's name, dog, but um, the, uh, the Baltimore officer name, what this nigga name was, it was Arthur Williams. Arthur Williams, fuck you, Officer Arthur Williams, dog. Yeah, That's a poor ass shit, son. Like and and, and and like you just said, J um, Joe, they be trying to overcompensate for massing and shit. And it's like, my dude, like, what did you get in the game for? What did you get in the game for? To beat on niggas and use steroids. Apparently, some because then they got these these cops that tase this eighty seven year old lady. They trying to justify it. These other cops tase this eleven year old little girl, and they trying to justify it. And I'm like, son, like. You, how, how, how? Why aren't things getting better with the rise of attention going towards you guys? Why aren't you guys thinking? Because niggas can't help but to show their true colors. And I and I still say niggas are trying to go viral on purpose, dog. But why, as a cop, dog, it does not help you, especially a black cop. But why, like an eighty-seven-year-old woman? Why look at that? Like? She was, dog, eighty-seven-year-old nah, woman, son. Like, but Shara, she's something else. Come on, bro. She, she old as fuck, though. She better have been doing fucking kung fu and, you know what I'm saying, flip kicks and shit, bitch. What the fuck y'all tasting this woman for? Man, for this, this bar, she was across the street from the house. She shares with her husband, who was in his 90s. Um, she has trouble walking at her age and speaks very little English. She's an immigrant. An employee at a boys and girls club spotted her on, at, on an overgrown section of the club's property and called the police. Chadwick's police department said Ms. Bishara ignored the command from the officers to drop the knife and stop walking. Oh, yeah, earlier they said she had this knife because she liked to cut these plants, these dandelion greens that grow near her house. So she's just over, over here cutting fucking plants. And they yelling at this lady she ain't dropping the freaking knife that she cutting these plants with because she understand what they're saying. Officer drew his gun and pointed at her. Another fired a taser, striking her in the chest and stomach. She was handcuffed behind her back and detained. Like, Really? That sounds retarded. Like, I feel like if you're a trained police officer, part of your training... It's humanity at the very least. That's an old fucking lady. Like, you can't go to the old lady. You can't take my life from the old lady. 
like if you if this if if this happens and she doesn't speak English or she's just not saying anything, but you want her to drop this knife, you know you can't kill her. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you, know you can't beat her the fuck up. Even though you punch a gun at her. Like, you need to, like, have a process of, like, how to deal with this type of situation where, like, it's, like, just something where you can't really use force. You know what I'm saying? And the person may may or may not know what you're fucking saying. So it's, like, it just goes back to what we been wanting like more fucking police training and shit because I want more common sense. Yeah, like there needs to be a more common sense fucking process to being a fucking police officer cuz no. I mean, how do you how do you get to like tasing her? Son? In your brain. Yeah, like when how you do see you this there? frail little bitty ass old 80 ass little old lady. Yeah. Where in your brain like, does what's the let track? me tase her? I need My to dog, know that. At the, dog, if you walk up to this lady pointing a gun, she gonna drop whatever. If she ain't listening, dog, she, I, feel like I highly this. doubt she. I highly yeah. doubt this old lady is gonna run up and start stabbing. And if this old little lady do run up and start stabbing, I highly doubt your big train ass cannot subdue this old ass lady, son. Right. At least let her t- 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 go at you before you start tasing. You walked up on a lady and tased her. Just because you see she has a knife in her hand and she doesn't, she don't know what's going on. So she 89 years old. Bro, you can sneeze on this lady and she's going to drop. Right, and she's going to shatter her hip. Her chest and stomach? Her chest and stomach? You could have killed her from that alone, my Mm -hmm. nigga. My nigga, you deserve to fry somewhere, dog. Like, that's an 89 year old great grandmother. Probably somebody great great grandmother, Mm. fucking grandma, dog. Like, and she barely could fucking walk. Don't speak English, hmm. and you just don't. You, and you just don't know what to do other than then, I'm gonna tase her. While he draws his gun, I'm gonna right. tase her. All right, all right. And all on right, the right. flip, the 11 year old girl, she apparently was shoplifting, and nigga tased her in the back. In her back. What trying to joke? She's trying to run. Uh, her mom. Well, like it was funny. As her mom told the story, but she was she was walking. She wasn't running even. She was walking apparently, trying to walk fast. And nigga pulled out his taser. And she and had her, tased her off the fucking off the GP. Like, oh, that's not right. She was walking, so she was no. I nigga she was the, leaving. Nigga the zzz. <laughs> not right. No, they shot it at her. Like, she no, was, huh? She didn't she even was, say she, stop. Halt I will say that she did not comply when they told her to stop. But okay, she, so they did tell her to like stop moving. Okay, because you made it sound like they just walked up on her like no, 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 Fucking walking. She shouldn't have got tased. Not a look. I'm not gonna tase. You know I'm saying? looking at the same way. I'm not about yeah. to tase an 11 year old girl. Yeah, 11 year old girl. I'm about to tase the 11 year old girl. Girl, talk, son. Girl, talk, son. Girl, talk. Whatever she was stealing, y'all have insurance for that. You and do. If you, yeah, like, like, you, you do. Know, you know, if you don't catch the little girl, she it's not that big a thing, car, dog. Like, what the fuck? It's not that big of a deal if you don't if you catch her or don't catch her. Cause she's a eleven year old little girl. Well, look, look at the thing. Look, look at the thing. Look at the It's twenty six. <laughs> oh my god. Cannonball Ultra. That's a fucking horse stunt. <laughs> god damn. Uh, local grocery store. Uh, off duty. If he was off duty, you all. Oh. Oh. oh, and I see. But he's, no, 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 he's working as a security guard. Off duty cop okay. working as security guard. Oh, so, oh, wait a minute. So he's working as so security guard. So you're a cop detail. and a security guard. Yeah, the no, police. She was seeing like placing fun, food into her backpack yeah. and didn't stop when Brown approached her. She left the store. He fired his face. Strike there in the back. Like, come on, man. I'm like, come on. Oh, you don't want to stop? Bye. Dog, I'm like, hey, yeah. little girl. <laughs> I'm going to go grab her. Like, right, she ain't there. Come, come if she's close here. enough to tase, you can just give me this right. goddamn bag. Bro, hey. You didn't even have to tell her to stop, bro. You could have just give me this down down you know, bag. Right. I'd have just yanked it. Like, Go your asshole. Go your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> if I take you to jail, <laughs> little fucking bastard, get the fuck oh. out of here. Come on, But no, you're going to tase the fucking girl. Like, it, it could have actually been a real teachable moment. You know what I'm saying? But If you're going to be real police. Right, like you want to be a well, fucking... It was a teachable like a moment, real, all right. <laughs> like, like, I'm going to teach your ass out of fucking shop with ever fucking can. Not my fucking duty. I'm going to fry your fucking ass. No, no. For this teddy bear. I stand by. I stand by. It was food. But it's teddy bear. And then food. food. So real shit, it could have been... I'm broke. I'm you hungry. hungry. You hungry? I'm going to fry your ass. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I have the nerve. Have money. The nerve of you for being broke. Have money. Real poor bitch. 
Yeah. This is like, like, like damn. God, no, fuck these oh, cops. Oh, I'm telling God. you. Fuck these yeah. cops, Can dude. common sense, can human decency, can humanity, can empathy, can these things be instilled in some of you cops? That's all I ask. It's son, too basic. That dog, it's too basic. Son, all I ask. Besides being cop basic. dog, that's some kind of human morale that's not there. Dude, like, I'm saying all the things I human? said. Like, come on, Oh, you're a fucking human, dog. Come These are on. basic skills. These are basic skills. I'm not saying skills, let everybody dog. go, but you as a human being should know the difference between this hard-ass nigga that's about to shoot you and a, a 87-year-old woman. Which is or what the fuck I was child. talking about. A at the, at child. The dog, back to what I said at the very fucking beginning. Nuance, dickhead. Nuance. Come on. Like, look, there are levels to every fucking thing, bro. Like, have some better judgment. Dog. In that, a fucking way. I mean, I mean, I just wanted to just look at the video of the guy. Talking about you treating me like a black person. Yeah, we can get that little morsel in. Oh, he, man. He deserved it, though. White tears. Oh, I don't care. Tasty. I don't care. We talked about it. I don't even care about this video. He's such a fucking douchebag all the way through and through. And the, and the funny thing about it is that he was resisting. He's done everything that we, we fucking did. I, I want to know what the initial problem was. He, he, got, he got his flight uh, re, um, re, privilege revoked because his ass is drunk. Was he? So he was just like hooting and hollering. He had the nerve to say that he did that on purpose. He had the nerve to say he did this on purpose as a demonstration to support black people so people can see how police brutality affects us all. That was his uh, statement after all this. I want to kick him in the fucking throat. Saying dumb shit. Yeah, I got the Genius. 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 But I do condone talking to the cops like they're crazy. My nigga said, hey, nigga, there's no afterlife. Want to test me? No, I, 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 oh, I, no, I'm about to say, damn, that was a threat. But this nigga keep on talking all this shit, dog. Nigga, if you was really get treated like a black person, dog, you was going to be able to talk all this Somebody crime said, shit. Yeah. My nigga said, genius? You so supposed to learn how to de-escalate the situation. Genius? They would have had to walk a black person out. Like, they would have walked him out. Then he says, take me. That's when they took him. When he says, take me. Now, here's when I don't get it. Like, he gave him his hands. How come the... Like, why are the cuffs... Okay, so he's out of here. I'm not. Do not hurt me. Like, why are they getting, like, fucking cuffs on? Is he tripping and moving, man? Yeah, but then that dude, like, they're forced until later, like, 90 But that's because he took that shit down. It's his body going down. Don't beat me up, you Oh, he's in a fetal position. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> this nigga is hey, dog. He went hey, full feet up. They're doing. <laughs> oh, get the other side. I'm not listening. So he is clutching at his very soul, huh? Black person, gonna get sprayed. We're gonna get sprayed. Gonna get sprayed. Wow. You're gonna get sprayed. You treated me like a fucking black person. No, no black person ever hurt. You gotta get sprayed. No one ever you is. Get You're gonna get tased. Say, You're gonna get sprayed. No, no warnings of any kind. We just get shot. That nigga told the absolute white truth, huh? Bruh. The absolute white truth. Like, that is the voice of white people, son. Straight up. Like, that is how they really fucking feel. Straight up. Whether they say it or not, I don't give a fuck what you say. Like, if not consciously, subconsciously. Fuck it. Like, it's it's in there somewhere. It's part of your coding. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he let it out. And he was drunk. It just, yeah. it's just it's it came out. So that's why I say when you go back to like, you know what I mean? You're looking at the, the black cop beating up that dude. Or you're looking at these cops tasing old people and tasing the girls. And then you see this white man was so privileged. He felt so superior. Like you said earlier, he felt so above it all that he felt like he, he didn't even deserve to be arrested. Let alone yeah. anything. And it's it's black. Yep. It's black to be arrested. That is a black thing. It's black to that be is, accosted. That is nigger shit. My God, dog! Mm -hmm. Like you know, because I can't front, dog. Watching it back, it is funny what happened to him, son. But when you break down like the thought process of it all, mm -hmm. it's like really, okay, okay. It's like I dog, dog, ho dog, hope y'all see because it's something we always know. Here's a here's a clear visual, right here. I just want to end the uh, a two for today on these uh this this story, man. Uh, there's these two different stories. One was this man climbed in bed trying to rape his God, son's damn. girlfriend. And the other story... Yeah, his son's girlfriend. That was like... Trying to get in a bed with his son's girlfriend. And the other story was this man killed this pervert trying to get into his daughter's bathroom stall. I murdered that too. Both was black people. Um, murder is a bit much, but I understand the levels of anger. Like, like, did he murder him? Like, he, like, kept He killed the man, but I don't think he tried to kill him, man. He shot at the man because the nigga was going in the stall. 
You have to, man. It's your fucking daughter. Yep. You have to attempt to fuck. No, uh uh-uh, uh, son. Dude got killed in the process, dog. You're doing, you're doing way too much, dog. You're putting yourself in a life burden uh, space. You know what I'm saying? I just look at the level of this man most likely gonna go to jail. Yeah, he is. Because we got murder, nigga. murder is murder. But I look at how many fucking rapists get off. Like all these priests that's coming out, they doing porn in the in the fucking church apparently. Jesus. Oh my god, yeah. all these stories about these priests coming out the, the past couple of days, dog. These one nigga was um this one nigga was trying to defend them, this one priest was trying to say it was no penetration, it was just a lot of fun. Like, nigga, what the yeah, fuck are you talking I, I about? I saw that, man. I wonder what a preacher's porn name would uh, be. Like, oh god. Like Oh god. What would he call himself? He called himself uh <laughs> The holy Father Johnson. <laughs> Father Johnson. <laughs> Father Johnson. God Daddy damn. Peter. No, Daddy <laughs> Peter. Yo, I am the apostle. I know right, you got right. one. I know you got one. I'm not fucking with it. <laughs> <laughs> they, well, they're fucking with it. They're doing yeah, it all. Right. That's but them. it's just like we already had a, we had a corrupt ass world said I just wish our system could just catch up with being morale, dog, because you know what I mean we got like I said, we got rapists getting out, we got motherfuckers getting like good going to jail for all the wrong reasons, let alone the people that protect us we can't Nigga even can't trust. Stand their ground and protect their our own politicians children, we can't even trust. It's like it gets to a point where it's like when you see people become cynical and apathetic, can you blame us when you look at the surroundings. The more I grow up, the more soldier of slim words become true and true. Black man kill a black man is cool. They loving that. Black man kill a white man. They sentencing him to death. White man kill a black man. Screaming about self defense. Break it down to manslaughter with all of the evidence. That's real. I'm talking about even bigger than that. Just the fact of we can't trust none of the shit. We can't trust our cops. We can't trust our system. Half the it's time, we the can't system. trust. It's we can't trust what we're taught. System. We can't trust our books. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like oh, that good old control. Carter G. Wilson will tell you that. But it's, it get deep. So when you look, because you're talking about previous generations or whatever, even though there's a little bit more ignorant than we are when it comes to knowing as much as we do, that ignorance gave them enough power to have faith to fight. A lot of times, since we know so much, we become like almost defeated. And it's, it, we get to a point where when they talk about how our generation of black people, whoever, whomever, not doing as much, it's it almost like you can understand it just looking at the, the context of what we're surrounded by and what gets thrown in. It's, not, it's, it's not, trippy. It's just trippy it's to look at. It's hard not to feel defeated when you fucking wake up from the Matrix. When you fucking wake up and realize all this shit around you is a fucking lie. And everything is out here to harm you. From the things you eat to what you fucking pray and believe in. Nigga fucking right. Some niggas, ignorance is bliss for a motherfucker. It's hard to live with that what kind of burden. To say we live with that we live with that shit. We gotta think about that shit on the daily. That shit vexes our nerves. So you just say exactly what I just said. <laughs> no, no, no. That's like that, 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 he caught up to what we were talking about. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's the problem. Yes, all of that. But uh, yeah, man, someday. But that was that it too of the day. Yeah, yeah, man. We got a lot to talk about, a lot to think about, a lot to. If you pray, pray to whoever you got to pray to, some because to don't something. don't find yourself being defeated by the bullshit. Because there's always a section of motherfuckers that are optimistic, that are positive. It's like you hear people saying, man, niggas only get to know, nigga. When you Google how many different groups and how many people out there fighting daily against this type shit, you'll be tripped out. You just got to do your homework. Right. Don't be fucking lazy. You hear me? Do your homework. If you want to get down with it, get down with it, man. But like, yeah, man. It's gonna, it's, I always say it's going to take the next generation. It's going to take our generation knowing what to put into the next generation. So we don't fuck them up too. Right. Bottom line. But let's get to that daily dose America. Nigga, wow. I'm a winner, the biggest little nigga heaven delivered. Gonna be remembered forever. A fella fighting for better than living regular, hungry, broke, worshiping cheddar. I'm a new mad nigga excelling over you settlers. I've had enough of just enough. Rather death and dust than not measuring up. I'm ready to bust. The only pipe addicted to pressure, cause I'm no nigga. I don't need no woman. Only power that I'm needing staring at me in the mirror, cause I'm on my me. Cause I'm on my me, bitch. Cause I'm on my me. You can keep your credit, you can keep your help Even if God ain't got me, then I got myself Cause I'm on my me, cause I'm on my me, bitch Cause I'm on my me, look Hey nigga that you know got a dream And even worse, even more niggas got jerks Right, so what the fuck do we have going on? John David Washington rides for moms. Yeah, man, so, you know, John okay. David Washington, he's famous right now for being, he's, you know, he's Denzel <laughs> Washington. He's Denzel Washington's son. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, and he's playing in the black, um, he's also, he's, wait, hold on, that's, 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 what, that's what we're getting to. But what I'm saying is, uh, he's been interviewed right here for the black Klansmen, and, you know, okay. he plays on Baller, so that's what this video is right here. 
being the son of Denzel Washington was. And Paul out of Washington. And Paul, and Paul, thank you. And Paul was Washington. earning more money than he was when they when they married when they well, before they got married. She was on Broadway working. She paid for the first date. She paid the bill. Paid the cab hey, ride. Yo. So uh, you know, a classically trained pianist went to Juilliard. Yeah. You know, she's a, she's a great artist in her own right, and I, and I learned a lot from her. My, my father taught me how to hunt. My mother taught me how to love. Um, there were parts of that that felt very uh, on offense about his dad. Talking about, like, she paid for the first date. Like, you trying to strike at this man's, like, like... What? I don't know. Well, what you trying to... Let me see. Like... It's kind of petty. It's kind of petty. Just about Denzel. You know what I'm saying? But I, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with like riding for your mom. I think in this moment, for him, it feels like it was a needle that, that, that broke the haystack on so many questions of being asked of like how people look at his mom for us like because Denzel's so successful. But throughout, you know, and he's probably always getting at it like, Denzel, like not just being him Denzel's son, but how... His mother's so much in the shadow. It's almost like Denzel takes every, you know, take care of everything. It's like Denzel's the mother and the father. When really Pauletta has been, has been holding everything together. She's the real glue it all for Denzel, for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like not like like saying paying for the first date was like nigga. No, the real hero of it all, the one who really went to school, who didn't do this at 28, who been doing this for a whole fucking life, and is at third. And the real hero of our whole family is this person, though the fame is a claim to Denzel. And the household I grew up in. The hero is the mom, is Pauletta, for all of us. Yeah, I think he's saying, put some respect on my mama name. I mean, <laughs> Straight I think up, it's always down. the, it's usually the fucking moms that's the damn heroes. Yeah, they are. But I, like, if you're in this position, because when I was watching this, I, I agree heavily with Joseph saying on Love of Love. Um, you can tell that he has a, and I agree with you too on this point. He has a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, about like his dad. there's just a little chip on his shoulder. But it's an understandable chip you know. because if you growing up in, like you said, Joe Denzel Washington shadow, even mm -hmm. and then you want to be an actor mm -hmm. and you're being known as Denzel's son, even though, like you saying, Joe, he's he's closer with his mother and his mother most likely like Denzel wasn't there all the time. Denzel is saying yeah, he wasn't always on me. Mm -hmm. He was being Denzel Washington. So is your mom that's really pouring into you all these things and people don't know that your mom is a classically trained pianist and your mom was on Broadway. People don't even know your mom's name unless you give a fuck like but average person know Denzel even though the mom didn't sacrifice you know what I'm saying I, I fully get where he coming from on yeah. that then you throw in that Denzel oftentimes big ups his daughters more than his son yeah I think we well yeah we we, we spoke about, about this it. yeah not on air you know? not on air on things but, but yeah uh, that's like that's also a very interesting caveat to it all you know how he you know Lifts up his daughters versus uh, probably making him have to work harder. Because he's a boy. He's a man. Yeah, because he's a fucking man. Because Denzel you know even said so. he didn't give his kids nothing. Like, he, he, he'll he give him advice and stuff, but he don't, like, pull strings. Like, mm -hmm. he told his kids, if you try to get in the game, you got to do this, this, and this to get in the game. And keep pushing, keep working. Like, I'm not about to... Just no let, legacy shit. Yeah, I ain't about yeah. to just open this door and just because you're my kid. And that's another reason why he's like, John David is on hard up. Like, dog. I don't want to just be known as Denzel Washington's son. You feel me? I'm my own name. On top of, like you said, Joe, don't play my mama, bro. I'm tired. I'm really, it's never don't play my mama. My mama been getting played. So, I mean, uh, let me put my mama name out here, too. His last two words summed it up, uh, last few sentences summed it up best. My father taught me how to hunt. My mother taught me how to love. And when you say some shit like, my father taught me how to hunt, hunting is not a, a, a loving experience that much so. It could be. It's a bonding experience for sure. But when you teach somebody how to hunt and how to kill, and how to assassin, that shit right there takes a a, a level of, of um, s s hardness to it. You know, you know what I'm saying? To a degree. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you, but like, you know, that there's layers. I just give you that. There's so layers to what... Like, to there's, layers to, there's layers to that statement, period. Like, when you look at both sides and angles, dog, there's layers to that. But that's why you That was a that nice book. statement. <laughs> it was just a hunter. That's basically saying, without Pauletta, I'll be a hunter. And I, you know, without that love, I mean, just it by, you're right. I'm just saying, even them by themselves, my mom taught me how to love. That says a lot. My father taught me how to hunt. That says a lot. When you put them together, or even opposition of you put them together in sync, in, um, in synchronocracy, whatever the fuck the word is, in sync. They both just, that's a, that's a strong statement. I feel like this nigga been waiting for them kind of questions. Like, oh, him nigga asked me this. this platform. You hear me? I can't wait to answer I mean, this. I've never asked me this all my life. Nigga, because he been grinding. He has some indies that's coming out right now. Shouts out to the actor, New Orleans actor, Kelvin Harrison. 
That little dude that puts in work, Calvin Harrison. He's going to be a name. People talk about Jason Mitchell. People talk about all these other cats from New Orleans. But this cat here, Calvin Harrison, dog, he's in a whole bunch of indies that's coming out. And, like, he been in the indie with John David Washington called Monsters and Men. And, he like, when I hear people talk about up-and-coming New Orleans actors, his name ain't brought up enough, even though that little dude been doing a lot. So big ups to him. But, um... Yeah, dude, like, I can tell that John David been working. He been on Ballers, he been in all these films, and he just been working. And he just couldn't wait to just something to piece through. And I'm glad it's something like Je the Black Klansman with Spike that, Lee. So the irony that, you know, Spike Lee. You know, he Lee. and Malcolm X. Exactly. Like, as a small character, bro, I was joked out. Oh, he and Malcolm X somewhere? Yeah. Malcolm, John David, oh, who he played? A small character. I don't even think he had a name. I didn't even know he was in Malcolm X. I was looking at his IMDb. I was like, oh, he's in Malcolm X. That's trippy. That's but like, I'm just saying the irony of, like, you know what I mean? Spike worked with his dad in a, in a role that put him on in a way made him iconic. And this role with Black Klansman is up in this guy's name recognition. So good for him, dog. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, son. Glad to see one more black actors in the mix. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, another thing in this thing, did y'all hear about Sam Smith not liking Michael Jackson and all that uh, backlash? <laughs> Yeah, Black Twitter Sam, told that that's Sam, Sam Smith said he, he didn't like Michael Michael Jackson. Wasn't a fan too. He's like music. Not a fan. I guess uh I guess he just don't like Mike. I mean it seems kinda crazy because I mean I mean everybody don't like everybody. You're right. I mean but when white people say shit like that, they should shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. You know what? I ain't about to get more into that. That that's that's enough. That that yep, we're <laughs> yeah. not gonna go. Let's get into that hero highlight. Fuck you, that <laughs> Yep. Yep. Stop the madness. Stop, stop the madness. 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 I first off, the, the, the ultimate hero, the superhero of the hero highlight got to be LeBron James. Duh. You're my hero, baby. Duh. My nigga opened that fire at school. Then he said he guaranteeing college tuition. I already sent thousands of other kids to college every year. For years, you know what I'm saying? That's um, how much money you got. No, that's the kind of money you got. I do got, I like the little Miko with the bush and the glasses, you feel me? He Make recently look a little bit more he, sophisticated. He recently took uh, backlash because he said uh, black women are God or some shit. He like big up black women. All these white people was like, well, it's pretty racist to say. Homie stood his crown with all of my nigga. Like, he was raised that. by. A black woman, saying. his wife is a black woman. He was surrounded by black women, dog. Y'all motherfuckers need to stop getting y'all y'all panties in a bunch with black people. Big up black people, dog. It ain't about you all the time. And nigga, LeBron bigs up everybody doing positive shit in every way, from trans women to black women to children to black men doing right to mm -hmm. Kaepernick to injustice. You know what I'm saying? He is a fucking superhero, dog. And with the, with the superhero, you die. <laughs> Either die being a hero. I hope we don't level. I don't know, dog. I'm just standing by the level on just on this level with damn white people. It ain't about you, no. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad oh, that now, most of the shit that goes on in black people lives ain't about white people. But they still always find their way fucking in because they just can't help it. They ain't got no lives of their real own. You know what I'm saying? That white people really tend to white people business. Look at some of these folks. Fucked up. Nothing more powerful than a color woman. I see no white woman in this, and they're so white is not a color. Therefore, white <laughs> woman is not as empowering. The color of skin decides who is more empowering. And not the actions? Hmm, very interesting post. I personally don't give a shit because it doesn't refer to me, but many, but I bet many white women be pissed. You praise a bunch and forget about the other bunch. Aren't y'all fighting for equality for everyone only uh, or only your kind? <laughs> I mean, that's just, son, dog, trolls, 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 trolls. That I'm, only call it, I'm not going to call you a troll because you disagree, dog. You just racist. <laughs> you don't know you're racist trolls, son. Like, you, like, you know what I'm saying? You Because the thing is, at this point, you know black women that are fucked up like this. You like it's, it's like and if, and the, 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 small, the small. I feel like it's a small portion that don't. They're really ignorant, and the one because I think these people That's choose to be all ignorant. Lives matter this shit. Like, these people choose to be ignorant, dog. I don't. I, I don't think the people. I think these people actually believe they're bullshit. And that's the most frustrating thing. I don't think that they recognize none of that. They don't want to look at that. It's that fear shit we talking about earlier. And that's because that, that, they found these paragraphs that's just so missing the point. Nobody like, thinks they bad, huh? You hear me? What if a white person captioned a picture of a white woman and said nothing more powerful than a white woman? Is that now racist? Oh, like, come, like, y'all yeah. people swear it's equal. Uh, yeah, we true. Yo, yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that make it racist. But y'all swear that we on equal footing here, and that's the shit that really be driving. Yeah. Right, right. Like, like yeah. that is the most uh, insidious part about this entire fucking thing. Son, to me personally, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Though, like, it's under. It's like right 
beneath the fucking surface, dog. Because, son, it goes, uh, I, 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 this shit probably went to the fucking dead of America. White people, dog, they just don't give a fuck, son. I saw white, there are some white people who um took the disease of vitiligo that people, that the people that's modeling and start using that shit as makeup to, for, for trying to model with it. Like the, the like the vitiligo patterns and shit. And I was like, wow, son, there's no depth to, to like, how if you're not included, you gotta be included. Dude, you just got to be. And I'm like, my nigga, y'all have, let's go, if we just throw your shit, nuance into it, context into it. Mm-hmm. Like, I always, I speak, I hate motorcycle motherfuckers. Right. I speak about this often on Facebook, how about nuance and context. Dog, nigga, like, how y'all gonna ignore the fact that y'all been down to black, black women for like decades? <laughs> like, how you gonna ignore the whole part of everything about America is anti black woman and then y'all gonna get back because he's throwing some weight towards them? That's that's just, I, like you said, the word you use is beautiful. Insidious. Insidious. Big up to you, LeBron, for standing your goddamn motherfucking ground against Trump and everybody else, dog. You I really enjoyed do. that uh, when he was on camera talking about the school or whatever. Like, he was very. Uh, he was just very solid. Poised. Because yeah, that man knew what his plan is. That man is like, man, look, I'm 10 steps ahead of this fucking game. Shut yeah. up and dribble, huh, bitch? I can, like, really appreciate that. Like, he was on point. I had so, to yeah. talk, nigga. My money about to talk. Next in, Hero High, about to talk. Next in Hero Highlight, uh, Taraji P. Henson wants to change stigma of black mental health. She opens up a mental health foundation. Genius. Smart. Awesome. Thank you. Like, big so ups. Necessary. Like, then that. Put it right next to uh, Ethos. The Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation, named after her late father, was specifically fight to change the stigma of mental health within the black community. Awesome. Her foundation, her best friend Tracy Jenkins, will serve as the executive director, will offer scholarships to black students majoring in mental health, as well as provide mental health services for youth in urban schools. Perfect. Man, dog. Perfect. She said her pops was the um, inspiration for the undertaking. He was a former veteran, veteran battling with mental health and fought liver cancer up until his passing. And she, dog, that's deep, dog. That like, is like real action. Like she's not just like spending money on a charity or something. Like you are actually building a functioning tool, right? You know what I'm saying? And putting it somewhere. Like, like that's the. I feel like that's the actual change. Like spending your money on charity orgs and shit. Like that's all good. You know what I'm saying? But it's mm-hmm. kind of like. Invisible, like as far as like seeing what your it's a, it's money's a, it's doing. It's a conscience clear. Yeah. You drop some money off. Kinda. You could have yeah, like out. You just like drop it off. It's like you know. Is yeah, she okay I helped. Somehow? Yeah, but like she actually made something tangible that's like actively doing shit and gonna be doing shit on an everyday basis. Like that's what needs to happen more. Change your lives all around the board. Yeah, like it's. We were acting. And like from her to LeBron is like just a cool thing that like I I would rather see these rich people do that. Yeah, do that. Like you said, don't just throw it to a charity. Don't just no do real shit with your money like Akon is done. Like you know, yeah, like like Akon. I mean, I mean, jig it through money, through money, get these people water in Africa. Like do some shit that actually directly, yeah, have more direct. Influence. You know what I mean? Uh, building yes. a school, building foundations like this, these things will stand the test of time versus right. you just threw your money out. Who knows what a lot of these things are doing with your money? Not to just think negatively of these organizations. No. But I know if I was rich, dog, I would want to directly see my money at work. Right. Period. So big ups to her on that, especially something like that. Like we, we, we talked about before, there was opening in like some health insurance, like Will Smith, Jiggy, and like. Kevin Garnett or somebody? Yeah, yeah. And like that's a different Kevin, Kevin Durant. Like, Durant, I'm sorry. I didn't Kevin, say Durant. Kevin Garnett. So uh like ah. Um like yeah, so and that was like a different type of thing. That was insurance. But this another one, like damn nigga, mm-hmm. damn Taraji like Black Mental Health Foundation. Mm-hmm. And you yep. give scholarships to people so they can major in it. Like real let's things. go. Real, real things. things. Real things. Doing guys work. Last up on this hero highlight is a uh, big ups to this uh teacher, man. She this teacher was battling cancer and um uh, his name his name is Robert Goodman. He pay, had burned through his sick days while going through surgery and chemotherapy, mm-hmm. and all the teachers in his school gave them gave him their sick days. That's wow, cool. like that's, that's cool dope. as fuck, dog. Yeah, like, that is that is awesome. Yeah, and I I thought like okay that that's some cool shit. I'm trying to find the name of this school that he teaches at. Teachers, staff members, administrators, even lunchroom workers who pay into the Florida retirement system transfer seventy five sick days to Goodman. Uh, oh no, who didn't? Oh, uh, yeah, right. You can get it. You can get it, bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I ain't giving that nigga none of my sick days. <laughs> That's so fucked. That would be so fucked. Fuck that nigga. I ain't never liked his ass anyway. Bro, 
dude, you'd be PC one second and just totally <laughs> reckless the fucking next. Dog. That's why I can't fucking play with you. Oh my god! Shit. Said, Florida Atlantic University is that the name of it? Oh, he yeah. taught history at Palm Beach Gardens Community High School for 23 years. Wow. And he's saying even the Florida. So this is his school as well as this freaking Florida Atlantic University threw sick days at him. That's what's up. That's, That's what's love. Up. That's love, dog. That's love. Appreciate Big you. Ups. You must be a hell of a man. Oh, I did, do that. Hey, I hope so. So, hope you beat that shit, dog. Yeah, real, real talk, big up, real talk, serious talk. But yeah, that was it, y'all. That's episode fifty-seven, side B. I'm ho- I hope I'm saying the right yeah, damn yeah, number. Yeah, you saying fifty-seven? All right, right, side B, uh, the Fly with Bass podcast, man. We about to get about you. I'm um, sending all of your inf- anything you want to talk to us about to flywithbats at gmail.com. We want you, we want y'all be part of the conversation. You heard me. Also, if you got anything to send to the re- reviewing that show, that's coming back next week. Send it to reviewing that at gmail.com. We can be covered. And more of that duh, and more of that duh. What else? Oh yeah, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, come subscribe to us. We talking that real, we talking that 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 etouffee, that gumbo, that shit you wanna hear, you feel me? We talking rest up to you, baby. And we needing y'all to leave some five stars as well as reviews on the iTunes, because it only helps our podcast rise in its numbers and rise in uh, attention. And we needing that right yes, now, you feel yes, me? Please. So please, let's take the other time out. It's in the podcast app right now to either write a to write a review and to hit us with them five stars, and we will read your review on the air. You know, we're going to talk about it a little bit. So, yeah, hit us with that. Yeah. This, that actor guy, Martin Bass Bradford. You can find me on all your social media platforms at Mr. Bats. Spell it, Mr. Outer. You ain't going to find me. And, you know, for this episode, we out this thing. Also, uh, I can't say this enough. Check out Gumbo Monster 504 on YouTube and yeah. check out our shorts and our series and everything that we got going on over there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And you already know this your boy, D Mac, and I'm out of here. Uh, Follow me on Instagram at FrenchBread.Kid and check out my apparel line at Yadig504 also on Instagram. And um, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Posse Wine, it's your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the root. And if you're out in the streets and you're looking for me, you can find me on Instagram at Alpha Joe 504 where you can look at my Instagram channel, Alpha Joe, all location. Uh, like Matt said, check out Gumbo Monster 504. Just dropped something new, fresh out the oven. The Doc. You know what I'm saying? Start my right. man D-Mac over there. Hey. So, yeah. Fucks with it. Um, What else is going on with my life? Well, I guess that's about it. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> side B, we out this bitch. We out this here, man. So, man, catch you on the next one, man. We coming back soon. Thank y'all for this. Hand on my pouch. Just waking up, watching homeboy house. Thinking about the day I had the press with wine. Play when I say being a doctor was my goal. Ambition, think I wanted to be. Until I learned the work that it took and I would be an infinite debt. Then I imagine myself 80 years old, dead with debt over my head. Too much doubt. Gotta go another route. Once I got on the music, I ain't never getting out. I envision my life and how I'ma live it out. Kids and a wife, I hope I figure it out. So until then, rule 10, gotta wrap it up, cause life moves on even if we get stuck. So I turn back on the tube, now I'm on a cool. Watch it set it off, wishing I would make moves. The people was a fool, but the blues, it will hit ya. So you stay inside, so them bullets might miss ya. You can get your issue any single day, make beats at my home, so I never fade away. Learning those and keys, I gotta sit alone. I used to pray to God, but we don't get alone. Preachers and believers trying to turn me around, but I should still be proud even if I'm not down with G-O-D. My real F-A-T-H-E-R-O, not in my vision of tomorrow. He's still living, never forgiving. I ought to try and get along, but twice he ran alone, so now I stand alone. But I ain't lonely. Wheat, cheese, and turkey used to be baloney. Smoke key growing up, but that in an instant. Winning every day, see my past in the distance. I don't regret a thing, cause I love my existence. Kinda militant, but that's just sentiments from living this life Still got an open mind, people surprised I never been shot, I did time Step out on the porch, nothing never change Stuttering Jerome, old girl, what's her name? There go old Missy, look at Miss Barbara And the lady who make the frozen cups daughter Yeah, I got smarter, learn from the dumb Been in my own lane, just never had my own drums Used to rap about clapping, they never had a gun I was just imitating, but with a little patience I'm through Three years ahead of my time and stimulate and for me to imagine what would have happened if I was saving like every week 
Cause living on pennies ain't sweet, it's bitter You can be my nigga, but they don't mean that you fam Trust is like putting a loaded 48 in the hand Of a woman or a man who got a tear of your plans Now you're looking at your casket, the invisible man Cars and the glam and entertainers demand Isn't what I need, I mean like Joe Queen, Phoenix I'd rather never have an image, but shout out to the ladies and jicks who ever did it I ain't a known rapper, but I represent it up on this track, New Orleans to the ending Looking at a picture, the past feels near But I'm living in the now when she so last year Gotta go to work, do I wanna go to sleep? Been up all night with this beat on repeat But life don't wait and money don't make itself I need stability but what I want is wealth